Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. And uh, today, you know, as usual, you know, we are here to show the liars that they are liars. But you know what the question is, why they lie? I mean, if somebody is proud about his prophet, why he need to lie? If somebody have faith in his religion, why he need to lie about it? Obviously, those who make lies about their prophet, they don't believe in him. Otherwise, they will not lie. Not only that, actually, Muhammad himself, he said to them, that the one who lie about me, of you, speaking to the Muhammadan for sure, Allah will make him sit in a chair made of fire. Yet still they lie. Now, uh, I don't know if you saw the video of uh, an ex-Muslim, he sent it to me, you can download it there. We can see it in Patreon, to his channel. He had a video of uh, this uh, uh, boy. First in the video, uh, a Christian woman, she was, you know, obviously she is not educated. So she said to him, uh, <laughs> Jesus is, uh, uh, is Aramaic, right? The word Jesus. He said, yes. <laughs> expert. Expert in Aramaic. <laughs> he reminded me of Mimi Hijab when he said, Elijah, mean God with us. <laughs> yes, 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 he agreed. <laughs> Jesus in English or Latin, it is Aramaic. <laughs> but that was a good one. But you know, I'm not going to judge him by his stupidity and ignorance about Aramaic. Uh, but what about a person he claimed? And he repeat that in the video and he was speaking to somebody, he called him Christian Prince Fan. He said that the prophet, he freed her and honored her to marry her. He what? He freed her and honored her to marry her. Like, what the heck? He freed her and honored her to marry her. Which means he freed her first, he honored her first, and he many married her last. And you know, we keep asking for reference. You know, remember this guy, this, this I don't want to call him guy, this boy. Uh, he keep anything we show him, he say it's Daif. It's Daif. <laughs> it says Daif. <laughs> it says there Sahih, it's Daif. It says there Hassan, it's Daif. Now, as long he love to play the game of Daif and strong, I have a challenge for this Abdul. Can he show us the strong reference that he's a prophet, he married this woman? Is that fair, Muslims? Is that fair? We are not asking for much. He claimed that he's a prophet. He freed her. He honored her to marry her. So he freed her first. He honored her second. Or well, the purpose of freeing her is to honor her. And he married her. Okay. But, you know, the, the question was, your prophet having sex with the slave who is not lawful for him. Because in the Quran it says that it's lawful for you, your right hand possess, which is the women you capture from war. And if you search in the Quran, you will find that all over the place. If we type the word Malikatul Yameen, or Malikatul Yameen, We will find a huge number of verses speaking about uh, women you own, and all of them they are coming from war. And you can read any uh, translation, you know, of uh, uh, of this uh, uh, Quran. 
women who you possess and actually even in the Muslim translation it says there captive you see it captive your right hand possess between two bracket captive this is the Muslim website this is not my website this is not my translation I don't agree with any Islamic translation even if the even the one who is saying something let us say truthful because uh, you know one verse is a truthful the rest are not one line is truthful the rest is not so here you see that even Muslim they agree that Muhammad was allowed to have to rape women who they are captive even if they are married and they have husband and Muhammad he have he knew their husband even if they are his cousins so he captured them he can rape them so Muhammad have no right to have sex with this woman Mary the Copt who she was a gift and the king who sent him the gift of two slaves he sent with her or with them 1000 case of gold remember the Muslim they say Muhammad was a very poor person I mean look you see how poor he is 1000 case of gold very poor but the problem here, why this guy is lying or this kid? Because it's very embarrassing. Muhammad never get a license to have sex with a slave. She is not from war. All the Quran, when the Quran mention your right hand possess, it is about the captives of war. And you can read any interpretation you want of Muslims, not us. You know, don't take our words for granted. Take what the Muslims say about this. You will see all of them, they agree that this is about the captive of war. It's lawful for Muhammad, you know, and lawful for the Muslims only to have sex with women who they are their slaves from war. But Mary, she is not a slave from war. She was a gift. And as you receive gift in Christmas, Muhammad, you receive gift a human. And the Muslim, the funny, they say to you that the Prophet, he did, you know, he's against slavery. But the guy, he have slaves everywhere. All his houses have slaves to serve his wives. All his houses. But look what happened here. By denying that Muhammad he was having sex with her in order to save the honor of Muhammad, he got Muhammad again busted. I wanted to show proves not a speech and I want to ask the Muslims who they are listening I will put in the screen the official government of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and this is the house of Mufti this is the religion the, the Ministry of Islam and this is the office of the Mufti the Mufti in Saudi Arabia is the highest person in the kingdom for sure after the king he is the one who sign your execution which means if a judge he decide to execute you he cannot execute you unless he got a signature of this person who is in charge of this office which means he is the highest authority in Saudi Arabia which make him the highest authority in the world when it's come to the yellow pages of Muhammad and here is the question in front of your eyes and I'm just going to use Google translation and by the way, the link is in the info of this video in case. But we will post it for you. Let me post the link for you. So you can do the same as I'm doing. If you look at the link, it says Al Ifta. Al Ifta, which means the house of Ifta, the house of the holy orders. And in the top, it says the following. Let me show you. Let me zoom in in the link, in the top of the link. It says Al Ifta Government dot SA. Do you see it? So, if there is any question about how legitimate this website, if there is any Muslim here who think this is a fake website, Al Ifta dot gov dot SA, Saudi Arabia. Do those people have a reason to lie? Which one we are going to take for granted? A Bachabazi or official Islamic government scholarship website? 
which one of them Muslims should listen to? Those are the one who they are in charge of the Kaaba. If they lie, well, we just showed you Muhammad said that the one who made a lie about me, let him sit in the top of a chair made of fire in hell. So they have no reason to lie. So what we will do in front of your eyes, we are going to use Google translation because this is the only way and you can do the same. I just posted the link. You can click and translate to English. As you see in the top, let us zoom in the top. Most the question, the holy most. So you see, they are the one in charge. It says here, Jami' al Khadamin al Khadim al Harimain Sharifain. So this is the mosque of the Kaaba. This is the, the, literally the Kaaba. Purified uh, uh, Sunnah. They are in charge of it. And this is the number of the fatwa, as you see. There's a number for the question, and there's a date. The question is, let us zoom out so you guys can maybe able to read with us. <clears throat> uh, question number 11. The number of the wives, which mean the wives of Muhammad. So this is this page is about how many wives Muhammad he have, which is not really important for us for now, because the topic is that Muhammad had a wife. Her name is Mary the Cook. If we go down a little bit, we will see that it says that Mary she was just. A woman for fun, Maria the concubine, and he did not marry her. Do you see it? Why the Muslims, if we can call those people Muslims, why they are lying about what their prophet did? What is the problem exactly? Why they need to lie about it? Simply, the one who did lie, he is seeing it as something embarrassing. They are saying she is the mother of his son Ibrahim, which is very funny because Muhammad, he cannot have sex and he cannot have children. This is why he exaggerate with his uh, stories of sexual power. But Muhammad himself, he said, I was the most weak person between all mankind. And then I invoke Allah, which means he is known to be a person who cannot have sex. This is why Muhammad actually, when he was married to Khadija, he could not have any children from her. Even the Muslim, they say that he have uh, at least Fatima from her. But all of us, we knew this can't be true. And this is why Muhammad, in the time of his marriage to Khadija, Khadija she gave up. So she adopted a son, his name is Zaid, and later Muhammad, he forbidden adoption so he can have the wife of his own son by adoption wife. A man who can have sex normally and he can have a children and he's an Arab. Why he wanna adopt a son, a boy? because simply he, he is not able. I remember Muhammad have all those women. Okay, all these women, she gave him a boy. A boy. And later we find a story that she, well, she was accused, this woman who is a slave sleeping around, including her cousin. And then he sent Umar al-Khattab to check on him. He found that he had no penis, which is very funny because it looked like only this guy in the town, he had a penis. But as you see, the Saudi website, the official government website, it says, Can yet a biha? Sarriyatahu Maria, which means she is a slave for fun. The slave does not do anything except sex. She don't cook. She don't clean. She don't wash. She is a Sarriya. 
she is a woman for fun, for sex, for she was very white. She was tall, with a very unique skin of whitening, as the hadith confirm. And all the wives of Muhammad, they were very jealous from her. This is why Muhammad, he chose for her a location far from their houses. So as you see here, the fatwa, the highest Islamic religion website, saying he did not marry her. So why those people, they lie? What about we go and see some more official website, like ones from Qatar or from Emirat? Al-Fatwa. Library Islam library dot Islam dot or Islam web dot com fatwa number one two six six eight the question was she Mary one of his wives the answer no can yata'uha which means he if her be mulkil yameen for he own her and when she gave birth, she became a mother of a boy, but still she is his slave. The liar, he said, he freed her to honor her, to marry her. Translation, reference, question, and the number. Maria the Coptic, may God be blessed with her. This is the topic, is about her. Look what they say about Maria the Coptic. She was a woman slave, and he did not marry her. She was sent by the ruler of Egypt at that time, supposedly his name is Al Muqawqas. And he was in Alexandria and Muhammad he accepted the gift and she was see translation here is not perfect she was his right hand possess when she gave birth the translation is coming funny she gave birth to Abraham so she became the mother of the son maybe this one is not enough let us see something else. Fatwa number one uh, five five five. I don't know how many five here. There's too many five. Questions about Mary the Copt. Question. Was Mary the Copt of the mother of the believers, which means she was one of the women, the chickens of Muhammad? which she is not allowed to marry after him because Muhammad he is very, very sick person. He forbid his wives to sleep with anyone after him because he owned them forever. He is sick. And if you ask the Muslims, is it good for the women to marry after her husband died? They will say yes, absolutely, because that will you know, prevent fitna, brother, the temptation, brother. Okay, but in the, in the case of Muhammad, nobody dared to open his mouth. So the question, was she one of the mother of the believers? The answer again, no, absolutely not. Inna Maria al-Qutiyya laysat min ummahati al-Mu'mineen. Mary the Cook, she is not one of the mothers of the believers, which means she is not the wife of Muhammad. Translate to English. And they are giving you the reference, by the way. This is not just a statement. The Coptic Maria is not one of the mothers of the believers, so she is not a wife for Muhammad. And here they are giving you all the authentic reference supporting the statement they are talking about. Why do you want to lie? Is that enough? No. Islamweb.net What is the reason the Prophet did not marry from Mary? This is the question. What is the reason 
he did not marry from Mary. Now they are not asking. They are talking about why Muhammad did not marry Mary the Copt. Because isn't it supposedly Islam is against slavery? So this is the fatwa number 186347, as you see in the screen for those who speak Arabic. And this is the question, and this is the answer. He used to have sex with her without marrying her. Not only that, they say that marriage from a slave is forbidden in Islam. Marriage from a slave is forbidden, which means if you want to marry a woman, well, she can't be your slave. She has to be free. But for sure, she has to be a believer too. If we click to translate to English, they confirm again the same, same thing. Uh, the page could not be translated. Why? Let's try again. All right, now it's working. Read the title. The reason why the Prophet, may Allah shower him, pray on him, did not marry Mary the Cop. This is the title number name so what does that mean he did not marry her and they are down they come they confirm why he did not marry her because he cannot marry a slave and not only that the woman she is asking the question obviously she's a woman she said isn't it Islam forbid slavery he said not true Islam did not forbid slavery it is not true that Islam forbid slavery but rather encourage man slaughter and open door if it's door <laughs> translation here is funny so what, what it says in arabic that islam is against nobody nobody can say that islam forbids slavery this is a lie but they are trying to say but islam encourage you to free a slave but did muhammad free the slave married the cop he was having sex with her all those years and then there's a da'if hadith says, when she gave birth to Ibrahim, Muhammad, he freed her. But this is da'if. Remember those people, they have a sickness with da'if. Anytime we show them something, they say da'if. Like what? Da'if. So uh, da'if. So we can, uh, no da'if, it's, we don't accept it. And this da'if, by the way, is going to cause more problem. If the Muslim want to support their claim by it, because it says he have a child from her and she is not a free yet and did not say anywhere that he married her. Let me see what I can find the hadith. I'm just quoting from my head. And I better uh, find the reference. You know them. We show them in the screen, still they say it's a lie. I mean, it doesn't matter how much we show them. It's a lie. A brother, are you sure it's a lie? Yes, brother, it's a lie. A blood, a brother, but he is showing you in the screen, brother. It's a lie. Well, it is in our website, brother. It's an Islamic website, brother. It's a lie. Does, don't even try. It's a lie. It doesn't matter what you say. So let us see uh, what uh, uh, where we can find the reference. Here we go. We found the reference, which is again proving this Bachia Bazi boy to be a liar. 
because as you see even if she was freed this is after she gave birth to a baby supposedly this is his own in his video he said the prophet he freed her to honor her to marry her and he report, repeated that a few times so even this hadith let us say for the sake of argument this is sahih hadith actually i believe it's a sahih but you see the muslims they they, they have a habit of uh, the eve thing uh, the eve by the way the eve does not mean is reject, rejected but this this boy he always anything he don't like he said that and he throw it away so he can get away from it it's the, the the easiest way to escape but even this one because remember ibn majah is a sahih book so how sahih book and the hate is daif secondly as long this is a daif that's mean if this boy don't accept it where is the reference that he freed her first and or her second and then he married her before he have a child nowhere to be found that's a big fat lie and as we are showing you, all reference saying the opposite. Let us go to more reference. <clears throat> this is the hadith about Muhammad having sex with this woman. It was narrated from Anas. Some people do not know how to write, read his name. It is Anas, not As. The messenger of Allah had a female slave with whom he had intercourse. But Aisha and Hafsa would not leave him alone until he said she was forbidden to him. And then they quote for you the verse from the chapter of at tahrim Chapter 66, verse number 1 and 2. O Prophet, why you forbid why do you forbid yourself which Allah he has allowed you? To the end of the verse, you see it? So this verse is speaking about Muhammad sleeping with his slave and this is Mary the cook. Does it say here a female slave or it says a wife? You see, if you have a wife and you are sleeping with her, you cannot say, I mean, he is supposed to be a prophet. You cannot say, I forbid myself from sleeping with you. Well, you divorce her then. She is a female slave and she is married a cop. And as you see, this is Sahih. What this Abdul will say? I don't accept it. This is Daif. So we showed you fatwa. We showed you Islamic website answers. What else? What we should do more? Not enough. This is a chapter 66. Verse number two, Ibn Kathir. And here, by the way, I want to show you something very funny. Like, can you believe it that Ibn Kathir in English have nothing to do with Ibn Kathir in Arabic? All the story here about Mary is not in the English translation. All the story, imagine. Imagine how they are deceiving people. Why in the world somebody translating the book of Ibn Kathir why he skip four or five pages in explanation of a chapter because it's an embarrassment if we go right now actually i can now you know uh, we can open this one in google and google translation and we can translate and you will see how in a second we get them busted shall we do that Here we go. For those who do not know, this is the official government of the Kingdom of Jordan. And the King of Jordan, he is the one who owned this website. And he claimed that he is descendant from Muhammad, which is actually true. He is descendant from, you know, sleeping around. But not from him, really. Because I believe Muhammad, uh, you know, is not the one. I mean, uh, let us say uh, they are descendant from the women, some of the women's of Muhammad but have nothing to do with, with those women have nothing to do with Muhammad but he claimed that he is descended from Muhammad so by birth they belong to Muhammad this is explain why they are very corrupt 
you know they are the king of of, of Jordan he is a he is a CIA member when uh, when Al Qaeda they explode themselves in a base of ice as of, of CIA the prince the brother of the king he was in the office and you tell me what he's doing there in the CIA office he's, a, he's their agent this is why they sponsor him this is why Israel protect them however this is at the end of the day this is the book of Ibn Kathir and we cannot say Ibn Kathir is a CIA agent right and this is Ibn Kathir in Arabic, which is totally different from Ibn Kathir in English. You can open Ibn Kathir in English now, and you will not see this story there. We click. It says here, لا تخبري أحد وإن أم إبراهيم علي حرام. So Hafsa, she came to the house. She found Muhammad doing boom boom to the slave girl in her bed. He promised her if she don't tell anyone about his scandal because obviously it's a shameful behavior he promised her she is forbidden for me I will never do it this is why the, ch the chapter says why well, you forbid yourself what is made lawful for you and this is what the hadith we just showed you was saying and this is Sahih let us translate Google translation. Google peace be upon him. See? So he was sleeping with her and he told Hafsa she is forbidden for me. What he was doing with this woman? She is his slave. She is the mother of Ibrahim. But she is not his wife. When people, they have no shame. They do as they wish. The same thing can be proven if we switch to English. This is the book of Asbab al -Nuzul, the same website. And the book of Asbab al -Nuzul mean the reason for the verses to come down. So those with this book explain what happened, what is what is the in the backyard. So when she is your slave girl, he swore. When when his wife she came to the house, let me highlight for you so you can read with me. And the good thing in this page here, we do not need to translate because this is translated already in English. And we do not really need to translate anything here. Well, for some reason, my mouse is not functioning. I hold on. Well, what happened? I'm trying to open the link. I mean, to give you the link. But anyway, as long as we have it in front of us here now, if you read with me here, it says. So when Hafsa she came and she found Muhammad with the mother of his son, Maria, when Hafsa she found him in her bed, in her house, imagine how filthy, he sent Hafsa to the house of her father. He told her, don't you want to go and visit your father? Go, go, go visit your father. So she go to her father's house. Then she felt there is something fishy. Why he's insisting? What's up? So when she came early, she entered the house. And she found him along with the mother of his son. You see, they don't say his wife. They say the mother of his son, Maria. And then she said to him, Why did you bring her in my house? You did this to me? To the exception of all your wives? which means from all the wives you have, you could decide not to insult except me by bringing the slave. Only because I am too insufficient for you. He said to her, look at the coward. Look at the coward. Do not mention this to Aisha. <laughs> don't, just don't tell Aisha, okay? She will burn the house on me. <laughs> you know, and then he said 
She is forbidden for me, i.e. Maria, if I ever touch her. He is forbidden whom? He is forbidden the slave. Why they lie? Is that their website? Is that what it says? Why they love to lie? What is the purpose? What is behind their lies? In verse number two, Allah, he sent him a verse saying to him, don't worry about the oath you take, okay? Just break a zucchini. Can you believe it? It's in the front of you. Allah, he sent him a verse saying, oh, you know what? You don't have to keep your oath because he took an oath. He swear. He said, by Allah, I swear. So you're oath of forbidding yourself from sexual relationship with the handmaid is not valid no more. Do you see the word handmaid? They make her a wife just to protect their prophet from being exposed with his faith. This is Tafsir al-Jalalain. The hand made Maria. Do you see it? Why you forbid yourself? Your hand made. Made that unlawful for you. The Coptic hand made Maria. Do you, anyone see the word wife? I mean, how many books until now we showed? But it's not enough. It doesn't matter how many reference and proofs you show a Abdul. He will say it is a goat even if she fly. So what I will do now? How I can solve this problem? Abdul is not convinced. We did not show any reference yet. I mean, who care about the highest authority of Islam, Saudi Arabia? Okay, what about Ibn Qayyim? What about at tabaqatul kubra What about, you know, I mean, all the books, this why they are saying, why, why they want to, why those scholars, they would lie? You know what? So I decided, I said to myself, let us go and see the Mr. Holes in the narrative. You know, Mr. Hall in the narrative, he have a school and he is a teacher and he's a scholar, supposedly. So Mr. Hall in the narrative, he is the best to explain what's going on. I mean, who can do better? Nobody. So Mr. Hall in the narrative, he is going to explain to you how big the hole was in the house of Muhammad. Mr. Hall in the narrative, it's your time. Go. It again shows you the way that slavery was practiced in Islam is very different than the way it is in any other civilization. Uh -huh. That in our Sharia, ah, if a, a concubine gives birth well, of course, the child will be fully legitimate and exactly the same as all other children in inheritance, in wiratha, in uh, the take. Remember, he is talking about what? Talking about Maria the Copt. <laughs> He's talking about what? Maria the Copt. This is the name of the title of his video. Continue, Abdul. Taking the name of the father and taking the status of the father. And I should have mentioned most of our khulafa of the Umayyads and the, of the Abbasids especially and the Ottomans, almost all of them were sons of slave, slaves. Did you hear it? Did you hear it, Muslims? So you Muslim, you go, you invade your neighbors and you rape the women and then you have babies from them. Those your leaders are sons of fornications. They are not married to them. The Caliphate are not sons of legitimate marriage. Muhammad's son, Ibrahim, according to the stories here, is a son of a fornication, not from a marriage, because he did not marry her. Be my witness. Continue, Mr. Hall, in the narrative. 
So being the son of a slave did not have any type of negative smear at all. In fact, even uh, Hajar right, and Ismail, right, this is the same thing. Okay, so the point being... Just to show you how stupid this guy, Hajar and her son Ismail, he is not a son of a slave, you idiot. She was Abraham's slave, but he married her. He did not sleep with her as a slave she become his wife so she is free so here they say the same as Abraham and what do you have to do with Abraham continue that uh, in our Sharia when the slave has a child when such a concubine has a child automatically she gets a free upgrade what is this free upgrade you see when you get a baby you get a free upgrade 10 gigabyte you open your legs to a Muslim. He keep doing raping you until you have a baby from him. Then you will be abrogated. There's somebody saying his name is Omar saying the Bible promote the, the Bible promote dashing babies. That because you are a stupid idiot. The Bible never promote that. This is a prayer of a Jew. He is saying, let God, let, let happen to them as it did to us, which means it was the enemy who was dashing the babies. So you are a fool like your prophet. However, talking about dashing babies, don't make me go there because I can show you from your Islamic religion that you Muslims is the one who dash babies. I can show it to you right now. You want to call me so we can laugh? Now continue, Mr. Hoare, in the narrative. And what happened to Mary the Copt? Great. The Sharia calls her Umm al-Walad. Umm al-Walad. And Umm al-Walad means that she is no longer a concubine. She is no longer a... What? So, Mary the Copt. This is Yasser Qadi, who have a PhD in Islamic Shish Kebab, confirming that Mary the Copt, she was always a slave, and Muhammad was raping her as a slave. When she gave birth to a, to, to, to a son to Muhammad, which later Muhammad discovered that this is not his son, because Aisha, she got her, got her busted, automatically she been abrogated to a free woman. So Muhammad was raving her, raving her, raving her, non-stop. He did not free her. This was not his choice. It was a tradition. The Arab tradition, when a man sleep with his slave and she gave a son for him, for the sake of the son. He don't want his son to grow and see his mother is a slave in his house. So automatically she was abrogated. So why the guy, he said, the prophet, he freed her and he honored her and he married her. Now, did he marry her? This is the, 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 the look. So he did not free her. It was her given birth, which would give her freedom, not Muhammad freeing her. He was raping her without marrying her, and she is not a right hand possessed from war because the Quran and the Islam forbid Muhammad from having sex with women who they are not married to him, or they have to be a captive of war, as we showed you in the yellow pages of Muhammad. Do you see it? The right hand possess in Islam is only captive of war to the point Muslims they can have sex with them even if they are married. This is why if you go down you will see here it's forbidden for you married women except except who? Except women who they are your right hand possess. Do you see it? Who they are what? who they are the captive of war. So Muhammad, he have no lawful, at least Islamic lawful reason, to have sex with this slave, for she is not a captive of war. It's forbidden for you, for marriage, for marriage, between two brackets, doesn't say that, but where did it go? Your mother, your daughter, your blah, 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 okay? And then, 
uh, and it's lawful for you okay now it, uh, we start with is what forbidden and then what is lawful and also forbidden for you women already married except your right hand possess what right hand possess mean the captives do you see it so now we go back to the whole in the narrative so we can love go yes sir Kashi. she has certain privileges and rights and of them is she cannot be sold she cannot be transferred she cannot remember until now he's talking about mary the cook all of this talking about mary the cook you know so now actually she is not free you see it says he, it's abrogated abro she, he abrogate her but she is still cannot be leave. She, cannot, she cannot leave so how she is free she cannot be sold but she is not but she is not free <laughs> he's talking about abrogation like she is abrogated now she is now a free but she's not free she can't leave it because you just said she can't be sold that means still Muhammad you own her she can't leave uh, be treated like a slave and she will become free as soon as her husband or owner in this case passes away okay ah she will be free after he die <laughs> did you hear it did you hear it so she will be free after Muhammad he die so she is abrogated now and now she is waiting patiently for the owner who was raping her to die so she can be free I'm not the one who said that this is your friend the friendly Muslim Dr. Yasser Qadi okay. so this is a Umm al-Walad okay yeah booger guy so we can say this that Islam is coming close to this issue of absolving slavery uh -huh. that every single uh, lady that gives birth you cannot and this is well life so humane so humane. how can you then get rid of the lady who gave birth to your own son or daughter guys it's so humane so now we rape the woman and now the woman she have a child from me after raping her and this is very humane without marrying her he did not marry her very humane so if somebody took the wife of Yasser Qadi and he raped his wife and he have a child from her this guy is very humane he's a very good person may Allah bless him continue right it becomes haram to do this and this lady is now upgraded from Milk Yameen to Umm Al-Walad <laughs> and when you become Umm Al-Walad so as soon as the owner dies you become automatically free nobody can be your owner wow. after that look, so our look how amazing so now you became the mother of the child you're not free yet you cannot go anywhere he still own you but now you have a new title you are the mother of the child so Mary the court she became a mother of a child which is supposedly from Muhammad and now she have a new title the mother of the child but she is still a slave. She will be free after Muhammad he die. Listen carefully, Muslims. Our Prophet ﷺ gave the fiqh ruling through Maria, a'taqaha waladuha. The fact that she has a child, now she's a free lady now. Did you hear it? A'taqaha waladuha. Now she became, because she, she had gave birth, now she became a free. But I just said, she will not be free until he die. And this is the same hadith we just showed you. It says, it's da'if. Do you remember? Do you see how those hypocrites, when they want, they quote Da'if Hadith. When they want, they reject it. Do you see it? It says Da'if. It's in the front of your eyes. Look, look let, me, let me zoom in. Because Muslims always, they have a bad vision. Their vision is good only when they want. You know? It says Da'if. So, so why he is quoting it? If I mention it to him, he will say to me, this is Da'if, I don't accept it. But now because that will serve the lie or the joke about how decent Muhammad is, 
they caught this that her when you know her son freed her but he just said she is not a free until the husband die so he did not free her really so Muhammad saying in the future when I die she will be free thank you very much that is very humane you see how we get them busted okay continue mr. hole in the narrative may Allah bless your holes and make them bigger and round okay so the Prophet he said her son freed her so the liar the guy from Afghanistan the Bachabazi when he said the Prophet he freed her he honored her and he married her is lying now we want to go to the point where it says did he marry her hey yes sir did he marry her I can't wait to hear you saying if he married her or not that she's going to become a free lady and uh, <clears throat> one of the ladies of the Ansar they volunteer to uh, become a foster mother in fact the books of Sira mentioned there was a competition uh, eagerness a lot of women came to want to be a foster mother to the child why do they want to be a foster mother the mother she don't want to give her baby milk why they are fighting over fostering the, the child what does that mean the woman she was dying Maria the cook Muhammad he killed her why she is not taking care of her baby is that because he is a baby from rape is that because she is very sad and this also shows us, by the way, this is a custom that has almost disappeared from our time. But it was very common for ladies to volunteer to help out and to be a foster uh, child to uh, mm -hmm. children. And every mother knows it's so difficult to raise a newborn, an infant. And this is what they would do. They would help one another out. Mm -hmm. And they would just take the child and, you know, help out in, in rearing the child. So one of the ladies of the Ansar, and her name is mentioned in the books, she basically, the process agreed that she should be the, the wet nurse, if you like. Uh, and so uh, she takes charge of the child for some periods as well and the process gave her some stipend for that as well because this is a, a paid job that it is done uh, and Ibrahim lived for a year and some reports say a year and four months some reports say a year and six months so basically between this amount of time around 18 months anyway so was she the wife of Muhammad the video is long. Was she the wife of Muhammad? No, she was just a slave. Actually, I don't know which part of the video he said that she is not, she was his slave. Maybe I did skip it by mistake. Um, maybe I don't know let us go back maybe I skip that part our Sharia if a, a concubine gives birth well, of course, the child will be fully legitimate and exactly the same as all other children uh -huh. in inheritance, in will. Yeah, actually, he mentioned that already because he is talking about Mary the Copt. The whole class is about Mary the Copt. So, Mary the Copt, if she gave birth, then after her husband dies, she will be free. It's confirmed. So, Yasser Qadi agree. He did not marry her. What else? Ah, I found a new Abdul. Uh, this new Abdul, let us see here. Maria Qitiya, she was a slave woman of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, or in Urdu we call it Bandi or Jariya, whatever as, as you may call it. Um, hey, did you hear about your bozy boy? She was a Bandi. She was what? A bandy. And he is from your country. Is he lying? She was a slave. She was a bandy. Nonetheless, um, the Prophet Sallallahu uh, Alaihi Wasallam, he noticed right away that there was a sense of jealousy. There was a sense of jealousy amongst his wives. 
Now the reason was Why? is because uh, Maria's mother, she was considered as a Roman. She was originally a Roman. And therefore, because she was a Roman, she, her skin was extremely light. See? See the, the obsessed Muhammad with the white skin? This is why he said, attack the Romans so we can get the blonde girls. So Mary the Court, she is supposed to be Egyptian, but obviously she is not. Because she had a very white skin. And the wives of Muhammad, they were so unhappy because she arrived. Because Muhammad, he starts sleeping with her every night and he don't go to their homes. And so therefore, um, there was a certain type of beauty that she had that some of the other wives of the Prophet ﷺ did not have. Now, does that mean that she is the wife of the Prophet ﷺ? No, she's not. But because... See? Does that mean she is the wife of the Prophet Muhammad? No, she is not. And this is your Abdul, he is a sheikh from your country. So which one of you is lying? Is she the wife? Does that mean that she became the wife of the Prophet, peace be upon him? Brother, no, she is not. It's extremely light. And so therefore, um, there was a certain type of beauty that she had that some of the other wives of the Prophet ﷺ did not have. Now, does that mean that she is the wife of the Prophet ﷺ? No, she's not. But... I mean, how many reference we have to show where we are going to stop, where we are going to go, because it doesn't matter. If you show them for 10 centuries, they will say you are lying. This is a website, which is in English. I will give you the link. I mean, do you see, you see how they lie? Why they lie? I mean, all their Islamic official and their sheikhs, they say she is not the wife. Was Maria the Koptia, the mother of the believer? This is the page in English. You do not need to use Google Translation. And this is the number of the publication, which means the fatwa. Question. Uh, there is no doubt that Maria the Koptia was a, uh, uh, the, the concubine of the messenger. Okay. And she bore a son, Ibrahim. Can the title of mother of the believers be given to Mary al Kopti or not? So look, they are saying there's no doubt. This is the question. There's no doubt that Mary al Kopti, she was only a cucumber to Muhammad. She is, is a cucumber. This is what uh, the cucumber mean. He played with her anytime he wished. She's not his wife. He's, he's a sex slave. There's no doubt why they are saying such a thing. This is this is official Islamic website. Why they are saying there's no this is the question, not the answer. Now, do the answer agree that she is was just a slave girl for sex? Yes. Praise be to Allah. Allah Prophet, Allah pray on him and salute him. He did not marry Mary the Kuptiya. Rather, she was a cucumber, as we say, the cucumber. Do you see it? And they are showing you tons of reference in their website. Why do they want to lie? Who's who's telling the truth in this religion? The Bachabazi boy from Afghanistan, or those official scholars? Who is the one is a truthful? She did not marry her. Can you imagine if an official government website says such a thing which is not true? What will happen to this government in Islamic countries? Can you imagine how much that will be a big problem for that government? How many Mujahideen they will suicide themselves against this government? So the question was saying, there's no doubt that Mary the Copt, she was just a sex slave. The answer is, for sure, he did not marry her. She was just a cucumber. In the best scenario, a zucchini. 
Muhammad just having fun. And you know, the Muslim, they have article about how lucky she is. She got the honor to have the penis of the holy penis of the holy prophet to rape her. She's very lucky. She been honored by Allah. This is how perverted this cult is. So as you see, everything they said is a lie. And by the way, the reason I did not play the video of this potato, because this potato is a kid. He will go to YouTube and he will flag you for copyright. <coughs> potato. Do you remember last time when we get him busted? He gets so sad. So he went to YouTube. They told YouTube, Christian Prince, this guy, he used my video. Like, what? He, 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 breathe, breathe. Then what happened? Then what, what happened? What happened? He, 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 Christian Prince, he, he, he did. Uh, hold on. Take it easy. I, I can't even listen to you if you don't tell me. You know, we need to find out what happened. What happened exactly? This guy, what? Video. I mean, do you see how brave he is? To the point you go to YouTube, complaining, saying that this guy he is desperate to take it down. He is desperate to take it down. What if the video cannot answer him anyway? Why he is desperate to take it down? What's wrong? <laughs> you see how coward you know this this kid is. You can find the previous uh, copyright picture in my other account, the Arabian Prophet. Now, did I give enough proofs or not yet? I think I did not. Because trust me, it doesn't matter how many proofs you show them, they will say this is not true. Absolutely false. This is a Muslim website showing you all the reference and the evidence. Evidence that Maria the Copt was a concubine. Hadith mentioning clearly that she is just a, a cucumber. And they are giving you the reference. Everything there they have reference. Is that enough? No. 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 Christian Prince, you are a political liar. Okay, but I'm showing you on the screen. This is your reference. This is your books. This is your website. You, are, you know, everybody knows that you lie. I'm showing the reference here. And here we go. If we go down, actually, uh, uh, if you go in the end of the page here you will see all the reference those are Muslims they mention to you where they get all the reference from and the conclusion that she is not and she was not his wife look how many reference up to look at this I mean, I mean this page is full I can keep quoting from now until tomorrow I mean what is that conclusion so after all this reference conclusion in a view of positive argument, the statue of Maria the Copt with the prophet and the uh, critic, the argument of those who seek to break with the tradition, in evident that Maria, the, Maria was indeed a concubine of Muhammad. Do you see it? And not a wife. This is the conclusion. After all those references, the Muslims, they come to the conclusion That those fool who try to prove that she is not, they are a bunch of foolish. They have no 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 proof of that. It's absolutely false. 
and Yasser Qadi agree, and the scholars they agree, and the books of Hadith agree. But the Betcha Bazi boy, he want to make his prophet look nice. He knew his line. This is the website, I will give it to you. But you know, I mean, I think still I did not give enough reference. <laughs> did I give enough reference? I think I did not. And just watch, you will see a Mohammedan in the comment section. He will say, Christian Prince, you're a liar. You provide nothing. Like what? Let us give more reference. Well, enough. I think it's enough. So, guys, those people, they are just, you know, like this guy, he looked like a balloon. Don't just use a needle with him. Otherwise, all the fault will come out. I'm not talking about Yasser Qadi. Yasser Qadi, he don't need the gas to come out. It's already out. He is the one who discovered holes in the narrative. And then, in order to fix it, he come with million excuses. There is no doubt that the Quran is preserved, brother. But the guy he asked you, do you accept the Quran if we give you a plain book right now? Do you accept it as it is? Are you going to write it again as it is? He said, this is a very hard question. This is not for public. Actually, you know what? Why we don't refresh the memory of people about it? Mean. I missed that video. Oh boy. Okay, let's see this one. No, this is not the one. <laughs> Oh boy. And then all the Muslims, they start attacking him. The guy suddenly became a kafir. Suddenly he became a, a Mossad agent. Um, hold on. Where is the video? It was posted in, uh, in Anthony Roger uh, page. Actually, Anthony Roger is very good at making those mix. You know, it's uh, kind of funny. Uh, holes in the narrative. Holes. I don't know. I cannot find the video. You know where he? Do you remember the video where he, uh, where, where Yasser Kadi start cursing everybody? Do you remember? Anyone remember the name of it? What was the number? What the, what was the name? I found this video is one of the most funny. Anyone remember the name? He start cursing, you know, saying incompetent, incompetent, you know, all all crazy stuff. He can't review to us. Uh, yeah, but what was the name of the video? Remember? I cannot find it. I searched holes in the narrative and I'm not finding the one where he was cursing. He was attacking. Uh, uh, I mean, I forgot the names. I mean, everybody almost calling them names. Uh,
nobody remember the name of the video looks like we will not find it yes yeah, sir Kadi calling this is the name of the video okay let's search for this name I don't know why he did not list me in the list <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, this is not no, this is not the video I want. But uh, I want the, the mix, the mix with the Anthony Roger. It was very nice. Uh, hold on. I'm not sure what was the name of the video of Anthony Roger. Uh. Okay, let's see this one here, maybe. No, not this one. Too bad, we can't find it, man. I can't find it. Ultra. Yeah, we are just wasting time now to find it. Too bad, everybody is waiting for this video now. Man. No, we cannot find it. <coughs> anyway, maybe some other time we can play it for you, you know. Uh, and type Anthony Roger. Roger, yes, Arkady. That's it. If I type that, I would do find it. I did. I didn't see anything. Okay, maybe this one here. Oh, this one. I found it. Hold on. Even I did type it wrong, but it came. <laughs> Can you believe it? Guys, enjoy the wisdom. This is what happened to Muhammadan when they cannot refute us. They give us a big, big, big answer. Sharp, intelligent, and nobody can refute. No one. I bet you. What the hell? I mean... <sighs> Mark my words. The meltdown is just getting started. I have kept my cool with these people for way too long. It's not in my nature uh, to, to, to stoop to the level of every single barking dog. I just don't do that. I don't respond to stupidity and foolishness. As you're all aware, this is not my style. I do not attack people by name. Unfortunately, I have to break that rule for this one lecture. And just for one. Guys, he don't attack people by their name. He's better than Allah. Well, your prophet, he called them names. He said, go and bite the penis of your father. Your prophet, he spoke even about his uncle. He made a chapter in the Quran about him. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a better than Muhammad. I don't talk attack people by their names. I don't. But today, I'm going to make an exception. Exception. Give these idiots the smackdown that they deserve. People like Jay Smith or David Wood or uh, their ilk. Well, certainly, I don't feel... Uh, towards him like he feels look at this guy like this guy is going romantic now you know smith like certainly i don't feel like like this christian guy he don't know what's happening like what happened to those muslims why he's calling me this guy is very nice he don't call you know he's very it's not i mean you can say christian prince he shout he scream he is very harsh with them 
yeah, but this guy is very nice. So he had, like, he had no idea, like, what? what? <laughs> so he said, like, certainly I don't feel the same to, like, take it easy, Smith, come on. I mean, he's Abdul. And Abdul is angry. Come on. He have to refute you. How he refute you? By this. Uh, certainly I don't feel uh, towards him like he feels towards us. What the hell? I mean... These idiots, they are untrained, ignorant people. They are untrained. Un are you trained? I mean, who trained you? I mean, he is a trained idiot. They are, they are untrained idiot. He is a trained idiot. <laughs> untrained, unqualified, ignorant, arrogant individuals, arrogant nincompoops, they have no integrity. They you know, there's a word, I'm trying to learn it in English, income poop. You see, I, I'm, I'm hearing for the first time insult I never heard before. Honestly, most of those words, I don't know what they are. Like, income, what? What he said? He say it again. Individuals, arrogant nincompoops, they have no integrity. They are utter fools, ignoramuses. You know, the good thing about not too much, not too good to be good in English, I heard nothing because there will mean nothing for me. <laughs> what is this, man? Where do you get all these words from? I mean, did you search all the dictionary a word of the insult and you start hitting with it? All of those. Ninkam poop? Ah, is it coming from the word poop? I got it. Nine co poop. The prophet, he have nine wives at the same time. And when the angel came to him to give him the chapter of Al Fatiha, he was doing poop. I can show the reference. Continue. Just listen to them, and you know that they are utter jahil. So, do you understand why it is insulting for someone like me to. Something like me. I have copyright over the following discovery. There's a hole in the narrative. How someone like me, who discover the holes in the narrative which is in the book of Allah in Mars, he cannot be like those, like me, like them, no. Hole in the narrative and Nanko Poop is him. Mr. Nanko Poop, go ahead. I have to get involved with such a crowd. I have nothing to do with uh, these cretins whatsoever. Uh, there, there's an awful lot of uh, words that... He Somebody take Jay Smith to the Starbucks for, for God's sake. I mean, this guy, he was listening like, what? What happened? <laughs> this is what, you know, for me, I don't find this is shocking at all because we, you know, we grow up in their country, in, in their lands, which is our land anyway, and they start from us and we know how rude they are and we know how savage this cult is. But this guy is like, what happened? This guy have a PhD. He claimed that he is a doctor. He claimed that he is a scholar. He claimed that he is a teacher. Suddenly, he opened the book of poop. Yes, Arkadi used uh, that were quite strong. Uh, I'm not going to use those kind of words. I don't think it's... I don't. Come on. You know, Jay Smith, you have to go to school to the Middle East to learn how to say them. You don't. Oh, join my channel, you will learn how to say them. Appropriate. Uh, certainly, I don't feel the, towards him like he feels towards us. Listening to people like, like Jay makes me realize why there are still people who believe the earth is flat, you know? When you Isn't the Quran say the earth is flat? He is saying, now he understand why there is some, still some people believe the earth is flat. Well, is it your prophet, he says, Allah come in every third part of the night? Every third part of the night? How that can happen unless the earth is flat? Which third? If you say to me this does not mean he believe in the third part of the night as a flat, which means not only one time for the whole earth, then that means your God Allah is a yo-yo. You, 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 was this me? You, you. I remember when I was a kid they gave me a yo-yo. I thought, you know, because I'm a Middle Eastern, you know, the first time I get I start throwing at the people around me. Like, you know, what do we, what, what we do with this? They say, no, no, just do up and down. I said, this is boring. We should hit people with it, shouldn't we, you know? Middle Eastern style. 
Like in the West, they play with the yo-yo like nicely. For us, we use it as a weapon of mass destruction. Uh, continue, Mr. Yo-Yo. So, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, you force me now to go to the to the to the Quran where it says the Earth is a flat. Actually, I will use a verse. Doctor Zakir Naik. All, all, all of them are doctors. Did you notice? All of them they are doctors, brother. Well, Ardu ba'da dharika dhaha. According to Zakir Naik, brother Tatar. The Quran, chapter 79, verse number 30, it says that the earth is the same as an egg. The shape of an egg, you idiot. Where is the word egg? Open every single translation. We will not find the egg. Did somebody eat the egg? Is that an egg? Are you sure? The Quran says that the earth is in the shape of the egg? Where? Here we go. We have this page in the front of us have hundreds of translation in any language you choose not only that brother we can go on to the interpretation and in the interpretation it says chapter 79 verse number 30 mean that Allah he made the earth flat idiot income con income boop yeah income boop boop and then come boop but boom Okay, look what the heck you uh, 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 we just heard uh, Yasser Kadi the whole narrative. He says, hey, Now I understand why there's some people who still believe the earth is a flat. Is he talking about the Jalalain or about talking about his prophet or Allah? Because Allah, he says, after that he spread out the earth and he made it flat. Hmm. Uh, Diego saying. Have you seen the hadith that says the earth in the top of a wheel? My friend, I'm the last one to know. Thank you for teaching me today. I never heard this before. Now, because of you, I know that the Muslim believe the earth in the top of a wheel. Uh, and yeah, in the top of a wheel and the wheel in the top of a... <laughs> in the, uh, no, hold on. The earth in top of the wheel and the wheel is in the top of a ball and the ball in the top of a rock and under the rock there is dust and no one knows what is under the dust save Allah. Look at this, in honesty. They stop there. That's it. They can't tell us more. I mean, that's it. You see, you see how how amazing this religion is? Like, they don't want to give false information. They give you only what is confirmed to be true. So, the earth in the top of a whale, and the whale in the top of a ball, and the pole, 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 ball, ball, ball. Excuse my English. Ball. Yeah. So, uh, uh, okay. And, uh, you know, and then brother, and then brother, in the underneath of the ball, there is uh, a rock. How did you knew that? Honestly, you know, when you, when you learn about this religion, look, we can choose all those verses, and all of them, they are amazing. Notice with me when I say the word amazing. Learn how to say it correctly. Amazing. You know? You can use it this way only when you speak about the Quran. All those chapters are amazing. You know? I mean, wherever you go, you will see the amazing. Because the Muslim, when they recite the Quran, they have to squeeze their, their word. They say, you know, they love those things, you know. It's like, you know, you have an ant or you have a bee in your ear, you know, and then uh, uh, amazing. So who can beat this book? Nobody. We have to admit. Do we have any Muslim in the chat? He is having an obligation. <sighs> you know, I'm really convinced that Islam is amazing. The only problem with this amazing religion that Muslims, they always fail to explain to us 
how amazing it is. But then the scholars came and they decided to give a hand to explain to you what is amazing about it. And this is the amazing knowledge which is Yasser Qadi, he got his degree in. From the narration of the authority of Ibn Abbas, he said, regarding the interpretation of Allah saying noon, Allah said noon? Like, what? Allah said noon? Brother, what he meant by noon? Brother, read carefully. Knowledge is there. This is a pure science. Zakir Naik, he can exp the only one he can explain this is Zakir Naik. But the sister, if we go to the book of Atbab Nirul, or if we go to the Vedic book Path Ibn Abbas, it said that from the reason Ibn Abbas he said, by the way, Brother Sitter, Ibn Abbas is the candidate of the Prophet, and he is the only one who and the Prophet he named to be the scholar of the Ummah, which means he can explain the Quran. So this is no doubt, this is very accurate. Ibn Abbas he said. Allah way by noon, with is the wheel that carry the earth, and in the back of the wheel, or sorry, the wheel uh, on its back carrying the earth, and he is the wheel in the water, brother. Zakir, I have a question: How 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 big this this this, this, this wheel? Chris and Prince, first you do not know what to do. Secondly, it takes you 10 minutes to make a sentence. So for the sake of the sin of Allah, leave me alone. Uh, okay, but uh, how, 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 how big the, the, the wheel which is ca ca carrying the earth? It's very obvious that this wheel is very big. Because the earth is very big. So obviously, the wheel has to be bigger. Okay. Please, I know you are going to say to me thank you. But it's going to take you 10 minutes to say thank you. So just leave alone. Uh, 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 just set up. And beneath, which is the bowl, and under the bowl is the rock. And under the rock is the dust. And none knows what under the dust save Allah. Can you accept playing what what happened there? Christian Prince, are you stupid or what? It's very simple. There's a wheel, and the wheel in the water, and the earth in the top of the wheel, and under the wheel there's a ox, and then the ox is standing in the rock, which is very normal. Because if he's standing in the sand, his feet will go in the sand and he will go down and the earth will sink. Uh, you mean will sink? Exactly. So he had to step in the croak. In the croak? In the rock. Uh, okay. And look, the knowledge of Allah and Islam go farther. The name of the whale is Lewish. You know what? This is a very Lewish religion. I mean, this is a lot of Lewish. Lewis Farrakhan, and it says the name, the name of, look now, they are, they are searching for the name. Look, 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 the Muslims, they don't let any details go. Like, okay, well, there's a wheel. I mean, it's possible that this wheel does not have a name. Like, come on, this is one of the bit of Allah. Like, you call your dog Tutu. She called her cat Susu. Allah have to give him a name. What is the name of the wheel? Look like there's many whales carrying many earth. Otherwise, why even give them? So the whale of the, the the name of the whale is Lewish, and some they say is Dotaya. That's deep. The name of the bull is Bahamut. Like Bahamut, you know, Muhammad he took something a word from the Old Testament, by the way. <laughs> and some they say it is Talahut. Look at this. From Lutaya to Bahamut to Lewis Farrakhan or Liwana. Like what the heck? Are we going to end in Taiwan now? What is missing to say next? His name is a Ching Ho He Bruce Lee. Like what is that? And this is my Chinese, by the way. And the whale is in the sea. I'm really surprised that the whale is in the sea, because I thought the whale would be in my bathtub. Look at the details, brother. And the sea called Edward. Like oh man, even the sea have a name which nobody knows. Edward. And it's like a small bowl in a U.C. Look, what the heck? 
So the C is called Adwad, and the Adwad, which is the C, is in a small ball in a huge C. So the C is in the C. One is big and one is small. Okay. And the C is Hollywood Rock. Nearby there is 4,000, look, 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 look. 4,000 cracks. I mean, the Abdul who wrote this from his prophet, uh, Muhammad is very good in diving. How, how Muhammad knew this? There's 4,000 cracks under the rock. This is where the water came from. All the water, look. And from each crack, spring out to the earth. Like, hold on, hold on. Uh, I, you know, I did not get the image correctly until now. It is, you know, I will use my certain scientific uh, uh, skills. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm very good in in scientific drawing explanation. So here we have a wheel. Under the wheel, there is a ball. Those are his horn. I know, I know many of you are jealous because you cannot draw like me. <laughs> I understand your, your position. <laughs> you know, look at this ball. I hope good, man. It's, it's so good. Unbelievable. You know, I don't know why they don't invite me like the American have talent or something like this, you know. So this is the ball. And the ball is carrying the wheel by his horn. Under the ball, there's a rock. Okay, we have to change the color because it doesn't make sense. Everything is red. They will think something fishy there. Uh, this is not, uh, this is a black rock. Why it's a black rock? The Muslim will go dive there now to kiss it. We have to change the color. Uh, this is supposed to, this is brown. This is not a black. Why it's coming black? I don't know what's wrong with the software. I mean, in my side it says a brown, but I, on the screen it looks like it's a black. So anyway, so brother, so now the wheel in the top of the ball, the ball in the top of the uh, rock, and now under the rock, there's 4,000 crack. Now, for uh, to be uh, accurate in the, the, in the picture, I advise you to go and take a nap and come after a week because I have to draw now 4,000 cracks. Crack number one, crack number two, crack number three, crack number four, fifth, six, seven. Take a nap, take a nap, they come tomorrow. You know, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 11, 12, 12, crack, you know. I will keep drawing crack until I crack you up, all of you. <laughs> so there are 4,000 crack, brother. And from the crack, brother, the water is coming for the earth brother but I have a question uh, Abdul I mean okay the cracks is under the rock uh, you know I forgot something very important to draw I mean how I missed that part the earth I mean what's wrong with this guy how in the world I missed the earth this is the earth okay so now we have the water cracks 4,000 cracks and each crack have uh, spring okay how the water is going to the earth i'm going to try to find the solution i did not draw that the ox he have a penis just for the, to be polite but as long his penis is here i think the water go through his penis then from his penis go to his horn from his horn they go to the whale and the whale all of us we knew he have a fountain in the top of his head and he sprinkled the water, left and right. If you don't believe me, go watch any video on YouTube, you will see that the whale, they have a fountain and water come from their head. And now that explain where the water came from. And yes, Arkadi is telling us that he cannot believe. This is why, this is why there's still people believe in the flat earth. I don't know, he's talking about his prophet, talking about his God, I'm not sure he's talking about what. You know? 
Now, be honest with me. Don't don't you think I'm a I'm like I have a lot of skills? I mean, look at this. Who can do? You know, look look at this. I mean, I, I know like I I know that's. Don't show that to your wife. She will be you know she will say to you, how come you cannot do the same? I mean, come on. What you will say to her then? Your mother-in-law, she will, she will keep talking about it for the coming century. She says, if you are really good, do draw this. And how you can do it, you cannot. And if you do it, you are copying me. And that's why the Muslim, they say to us, Allah, he says, who can make Quran like this? Like, what? See, not too many people here live on air with us today because they don't know that I'm going to go live. But I said, you know what? Uh, you know, it is a Sunday and people are hungry for art. I'm thinking to open channel to teach how to draw. Oh, hold on, I have a mistake there. You see, I am a, I am a kind of a person, I do art, yes. And I am an artist in, uh, by birth, yes. But when I make a mistake, I admit. I mean, I'm not the kind who, like, not like those Muhammad and they say, I did not make a mistake. Yeah, I missed the tail, look, there's no tail. Where's the tail? Have you ever heard of a, like, come on. I mean, how I miss that? But now, alhamdulillah, the tail is there. And now we preserve the ox as Allah he created him. You know, you ask the Muslims, uh, can a human being change the look which Allah he made him look like? Or even the animals, they say it's haram. It's haram, brother. The Quran says so. Then you say to them, so why you are doing circumcision? <laughs> what a stupid religion. Anyway, so I don't know if we should go to... Uh, uh, to sh should I put my signature there? You know, hold on. I will do a signature. Oh, sorry, I forgot because I I made tea and I forgot to bring it here. So like and uh, and un, 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 intentionally I was uh, uh, what? Where is my? This is not my signature. This is Zamzam water. Like what the heck? I didn't know what's going on. Sorry guys, it is too much camel urine. You know? Yeah, because uh, Alhamdulillah. Anyway, so uh, should we go to uh, back to uh, Yasser Arkadi? Now, those who will copy this video, I advise you to cut it until we finish with this Abdul. You do not need to put all of this. I mean, you can put it, but in different uh, cut it pieces, you know, like make a, make a video about art, you know, so, simply. So look, you know, Yasser Kadi is surprised about how people stupid are. No, he don't. He follow. He follow the smart God. Allah swear by noon. And look. The Muslims, after they say all of this, that he is a whale in the top of the bowl and the bowl in the top of a rock, did they stop there? No, brother. The advancer continue. It's like the the Russian connection to Trump, Hocus. So it's also said the noon of one of the names of Allah. Like what the heck? So we start that noon is a whale. We end that noon is Allah. That's deep. That's so deep. We better go to uh, <clears throat> brother. Uh, where was the video? Where is the video? Yeah. You know, I will, I will start practicing those words Yasser Kadi he used so I can say them to Muslims from now on. But they are hard for me, actually. You reach this level of idiocy. I mean, how and how How do you even possibly respond to somebody who's such an ignoramus? Uh, I'm not going to use those kind of words. I don't think it's appropriate. An untrained idiot. He is incompetent. I mean, my mind is blown by such utter ignorance, utter ludicrousness. Wallahi, you wonder, is he even intelligent? Does he understand what he is saying? Does he know?
he's lying or is he mentally insane you you know, I like this. Well, like a, one, a person who do not know what he's saying. This is remind me when Muhammad he received satanic verses. He didn't know what he's saying. The Muslim they say that shaitan he throw in his mouth satanic verses. So he do not know what he's saying. And he's a prophet of God. But don't worry. Allah is going to take from his mouth what satan he throw there away. <sighs> Allah will take it away brother don't worry Shaitan he throw in the tongue of the prophet you know what? okay hold on I will explain to you what happened in this chapter I don't know I feel today like I want to do some art I don't know if you have patience I mean I don't like to draw it in front of you because you will learn how to draw but sometimes you do charity thing. So this is a prophet Muhammad. He was very handsome, by the way. I mean, girls, they were fighting over him. But not me, I mean, not like Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik is way more handsome. So this is Muhammad. This is his nose. And this is his mouth. And Muhammad, prophet Muhammad, his mouth was so big. Otherwise, how shaitan he can throw Quran from far distance? <laughs> because according to Muslim shaitan, he cannot get close to the Prophet. So this is the Prophet, Prophet Muhammad. He used to put uh, eyeliner three times a day. So this is just like the eyeliner is all over because shaitan he throw many things in his face and the eyeliner is all over. So, and now this is shaitan. Let us draw Mr. Shaitan. He have two horn, Zulkarnain. I know his eyes is weird. I know, I know. I know you will say that. <laughs> but you don't have good imaginary. And this is the mouth of Shaitan. It's very really weird too. He have like big teeth too coming out like, like a pig. Dirty Shaitan. Now Shaitan because this is a far distance, he used his foot those are the words of shaitan he hit the words with his foot the word they go high they go high those are word, not Microsoft word, idiot and now the words they go in the mouth of the prophet Now the prophet mouth is full of the words of who? Of shaitan. <laughs> and now Allah will take it away. So Allah will come. So we'll take shaitan away. This is Allah now. He come. Okay. Let us draw Allah. Christian Prince, you can't draw Allah. No, don't worry. I will make him orange. I can't make him white. Sorry. Because the background is white. They will not see anything. Christian Prince, this is why we can't see him, because he's very white. Okay, but I will make him for today orange. Okay, you have a patient. So Allah now will come. This is Allah. And this is like antenna here, you know. Because he, you know, he have a, he connected to the tablet. And Allah have a shin. Allah will put his shin in the mouth of Muhammad. He will grab all the words with his shin. And he will throw them back at shaitan. And here we go, all over his face, all over his chest. And shaitan is like suffering now. Like, man, all my trick is gone for nothing. See, this is amazing. Who can do that? This is what the Quran is saying. So, Shaitan, he throw in his mouth words 
Allah put his feet in the mouth of Muhammad, he took the words. He Muslims, why Allah did not close the mouth of Muhammad, so he will not receive satanic words. <laughs> I mean, as long he throw in his mouth satanic verses, can't Allah shut him up for five minutes until shaitan he go away? And you know, when this happened, by the way, the prophet, he was very sad. Look, tears. And those tears are not water from the 4,000 cracks from the uh, ground. Those are from the cracks of Muhammad's head. Because it's not easy. You are a prophet of God, and then shaitan, he put in your mouth, satanic verses and that will make you a satanic prophet and then Salman Rushdie will make a book about it and then Al-Khomeini will make a fatwa and then nobody was even caring for the book nobody want to read it then after they make the fatwa and like five million they went in the street saying death to, death to Salman Rushdie suddenly his, this guy became a millionaire because why well, don't make a fatwa on me so people they will buy my books uh, you are giving your books for free it's too late me Anyway, you know, I bet you that those uh, people in Hello, Hello, uh, Halloween, what is it called? No, not Halloween. Uh, hello, hello. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm like Joe. You know, you know the thing. So it's Hollywood, Hollywood. So you know, like you know, Hollywood. They were going to take my drawing now and make it a movie. For but this is the, this is true, not fiction. And they will not pay me anything for such an art. Just wait, you will see, you will see, just wait. You know? Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, do we have any Muslim have any objection for what we said? Allah, he took the satanic verses from his mouth. Aren't you ashamed even to say that? Because you just admitted that there is satanic verses in his mouth. Otherwise, he would take what? Look, look at the genius who wrote the Quran. Muhammad, genius. Never we did send a messenger or a prophet before, but uh, Satan, he threw in his desire. All of them. Can you name one? All of them. Okay, give me a name, one. All of them. Do you know, like uh, this guy, Osama Abdullah, the one. He said, Jesus, he was tempted and caught and caught. He have a desire, says, what evil desire. This is what it says. In the Bible it says, quote unquote, evil desire. I mean, <laughs> oh boy. I wish one of you can help me and give me some tea here now. I made my tea, but it's already cold. You know, I, you see, guys, you know what uh, you see what you do to me. I made the tea, I said, before I go live, I will make tea and put it in the table. And then I came here, I forgot about the tea. You know? yeah hey thank you thank you i appreciate you uh don't forget to hit the like and download the video and actually this one i will allow you to download it immediately because those abdoons will go crazy because of this video and you can post it immediately uh no please don't bring me abbas abbas his wife she called him last time she said to him why you are talking to those crazy people <laughs> we are the crazy one I mean you see we are crazy because we imagine ourselves having sex but in fact we did not we are the crazy one hmm? I mean they have even reference saying it clearly that Muhammad is mental and they, they, the excuse is he was bewitched the bewitched prophet why you don't debate uh smile to Jannah you don't tell me about people my friend what about you invite your friends to call me correct Muslims great Christians don't tell me why you don't debate this and that they're potatoes look at them all of them they want to debate me only face to face and everybody knows I don't go anywhere I sit on my chair wearing my short and doing my mission and speaking to Muslims all around the world 
Bangladesh, Indonesia. Go and search what's happening in Indonesia because of my videos. We made a revolution because of my videos in Indonesia. Where is the Muslim? Where is the Muslim in Indonesia? Where is the Ustaz? They make a lot of money from making a lecture, $5,000. You remember I showed, I showed you the article written by Indonesian Muslims. $5,000 to go and make a speech for two hours in such a poor country, it's called Indonesia. All my seminars I did around the world, I did not let them pay a penny. Not only that, I spend money from my pocket. Not only that, I'm the one who pay for my travel, for my hotel, for, 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 for. $5,000? For what? Where is the one who is serving Allah? And $5,000 in Indonesia, do you know how much money is that? A poor Indonesian, he will work all day to make for a month like $300, $400. This guy, he will make it in five minutes. A lot of money, my friend. You see, if people are making donation, I would say, okay, donation. But the, those people, they ask for the money before even they speak. They will not go there unless they have five stars with theirs. I just searched for the Ustad. I found an article. I don't know what this article is saying. Let me hold. Let me let me read. You know my uh, my Indonesian language is very good, but since I uh, Shaitan he throws scientific words in uh, mouth, I like I forgot some brother. So let us see here what it says. Ini uh, lima kartiria. Ah, here we go. I know the kartiria, and you tell me I do not know uh, Indonesian language, <laughs> and I know what Ustad mean. This is an Arabic word, they stole it from us. Ustad's young jadi a koana? He's cocaine? Don't do cocaine, come on. I mean, don't go there. Well, you are doing cocaine from a long time. Who in the world would believe that there's a God who will give you a women's by thousands to have sex with them and your penis will be endless? A lot of cocaine involved. So well, I don't know what it says here. You know, I'm not sure. Let me, let me. I, let me refresh my uh, <clears throat> my uh, Indonesian language. A few days ago, Alavara Research Center released result, its annual survey entitled Indonesian Muslim Report 2019. The challenge of Indonesian moderate, moderate Muslim? <laughs> okay. One result shows that Indonesian people have several criteria to choose a da'i, da'i which means the one who do like a missionary, or uzdad. They are not, they are confused about even how to say it. The criteria have a, okay, several popular cleric who they are very well known in Indonesia. Anyway, anyway, I mean, this is, all. hey, Muslims, as long you are saying to me, why you don't debate this? Why you don't debate that? Why you don't call them? and tell them, give a Christian prince your Skype, he will call you. I will call them. Is that fair? Yeah, this guy, what's his name? The Indonesian guy from Indonesia, he died. His name is Insane? And insane? No, Insan, Insan, which means a human. I mean, look, he converted to Islam, he called himself Insan. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> No, I'm very good in Indonesian, by the way. Actually, you know what? I will tell you a secret. When Allah, he sent Adam and Eve, my grandfather, to the earth, he stopped and he dropped some semen in Indonesia. And that's how I grew up there. And then there's a hurricane came and carried me to the Middle East. 
true story. I mean, if Muhammad he said that, you know, the Muslim believe that Allah he sent Adam where in Sri Lanka, not far from Indonesia, by the way. <laughs> Where in Sri Lanka? Okay, how Adam he came to the cabin, he did Hajj. Sri Lanka is an island. He took a donkey. You think this donkey is swim, huh? Man, his donkey is so good in swimming. He can cross the ocean. Uh, hey, Takbir, if you want, if you want to go dirty, I can go dirty with you. Sex in public will not change the fact that you Muslims have sex, but not in public. But you do it all underground. I can show you in this. Okay, guys, look what this guy he just said. Hey, Abdul, I'm going to take. A, I'm going. It's it's you who brought this to yourself. You asked for it. Smile. I just took a selfie for you. So this Abdul he said, Christian Brands why in countries why do christian countries like mexico legalize sex in public is that the fruit of the event i never heard of such a thing legalize sex in public but let us say for the sake of argument this muslim is telling the truth what if i show you that you muslims legalized sex in public and this is in islam do you want to challenge me do you want to challenge me Hello? Are you going to call me and challenge me to show you that it's legal for Muslims to have sex in public? Are you there? You know, when a Muslim he speak about uh, sexuality and morality, you think that those people, they are really so conservative. Let me take you in a shorter trip to the Middle East. I will go nowhere. I'll just type few letters in YouTube just a few letters oh boy welcome to the Middle East shall I play some videos for you brother shall I play for you is that sex in public or this is sex in inside doors? Brother, are you there? Praise be to Allah. And look, those women, they are wearing hijab. Alhamdulillah. Shall I show you like thousands of those videos? And you Muslim, you post them. It is you Muslim who post them. Look, I tried to click in it. Look what it says to me. Sign in to confirm your age. Yeah, because you are going to watch a very Islamic video. Sign in to confirm your age to watch women wearing hijab. What they are doing there? What we are doing there? Hey, Abdul, what, what they are doing there? Seriously. I mean, why YouTube is very worried about me? What will happen if I see that? What will happen? It's very conservative, right? Sign in, like what happened there? Very religious people. Hmm. Uh, from his platform, he want to debate. Or he, hey, Islam, we just uh, get lost. You know, we announced that any Muslim, not only Fifi and Mimi, they are the one who run away. You potato, get out of here. Why, Christian Prince, you don't announce? I announce, here we go. Give me his Skype, I will call him right now. Him, her, doesn't matter, all of you are potatoes. Why Christian Prince don't announce? I am the one who keeps saying, please, let us talk. Let me call you, don't you want to expose me? The same for this guy, Uthman. He says, hey, Christian Prince, we're in Burka. Why you don't come to me? I don't go anywhere, everybody knows that. I sit in my chair and I make you shish kebab without going anywhere. People, they need my answer and your answer, not me coming to you, you stupid. So. Who is the one is running away from debating Christian Prince? It's you Muslims. When Muni Hijab he said he's going to debate Christian Prince. Christians. Hey, Muslims, who like me to debate? They said to him, Christian Prince, he make a lot of Muslim leave Islam. He said, okay. And then we he's you know he said a time. If you don't show up, we will see. 
I was 45 minutes before the time. I'm the one who was calling him. He did not answer. And then when I answer, he did not debate me. He played a video. Did you say that? Hang up on him. Hang up on him. Did you say that? Hang up on him. Hang up on him. Very much intimidated. Terrified. I scared the hell of them. That is the truth. Who want to debate me? Who? I am the one who opened my Skype and say who want to call me. I don't know who is calling anyway. If they have the guts, they will do call. But they are cowards like their prophet. Their prophet who never go to war. He hide and he send his men to die. Mm. Uh, anyway, all of them, all of them, they can review me, but they don't want to talk to me. And Christian Prince, he keeps saying, okay, please let me talk to you. Please, your majesty, as long as you can refute me, we'll do it live on air. They will say to you, Christian Prince, he will hang up on us. I said, you know what? I promise that the one who hang up on you, I will, he lost the debate. That's it. How many times I said that, guys? They execute the Christian Prince? He hang up. Well, how I can hang up on you? I will call you on your life broadcast. How I can hang up on you? I'm the one calling you. <laughs> they are so terrified extremely terrified so anyway this video did not work so I don't know I mean it must be very legitimate dancing brother halal halal oh look at this one this one is so busy what's happening there each time I click at Islamic video to watch, it says, Sign in to confirm your age. This video may be inappropriate for some users. What are you talking about? There is millions of people watching those videos. Muslims love them. This is why they are posting them. What's wrong with them? Is it haram? Hmm. I give up each time I click one of them it says to me brother I want to ask Yasser Qadi is that halal or haram those are Muslim countries very Muslims very Islamic everybody wearing hijab as you see. Hmm. <sighs> Christian soldier resend your request to Christian Prince. What uh, what is what is request? So again, if any Muslim would like to call us, especially if he claimed that he is a person who have knowledge, he is a sheikh. Actually, I encourage that. We we challenge Zakir Naik, we challenge all the Ustaz in Indonesia. You know, one Ustaz from Indonesia, he decided to refute me. And you remember what happened? The best comedy. Too bad he died. Even he offered me five, uh, five hamburger, no, five BMW if I can answer. Right? If there is anywhere it says that Muslim scholars they can interpret, interpret the, uh, give interpretation for the Quran, no. The Quran says that scholars in Islam is the one who say we believe, not the one who explain the Quran. Let me show you the question of our brother here. So the question is, if there is anywhere hadith, it says that only Muslim scholar can interrupt the Quran. The Quran says no scholar can interrupt the Quran. Scholars in Islam is the one who say we believe only, not the one who can explain the Quran, which means you do not need to explain.
And the proof of that is in the front of you in the Quran, chapter 3, verse number 7. So who is the scholars? Who is the one who have knowledge? Is the one who says, we believe. And those who are firmly grounded in knowledge say, we believe in the book. They don't explain the Quran. And the, the, actually, it says there, nobody knows what the meaning of the Quran save Allah. But no one knows it's hiding meaning except Allah. And those who they are firmly grounded in knowledge, they say we believe. So how they are firmly grounded in knowledge, but nobody can explain it? Did I answer you? So the Quran confirmed that nobody can explain the Quran. But there is a hadith about Muhammad, he said, that he prayed to Allah to make Ibn Abbas, his cousin, Hebrew Ummah, which means the ink of his scholars. So he can teach the Quran. But the one we showed you, a funny one about the whale, this is his cousin, who Muhammad, he prayed for him. <laughs> See this one? The one who said that the whale in the top of the earth explained the Quran. This is the only person Muhammad, he prayed to Allah to make him the one who can explain the Quran. You see it? Uh, yeah, so any other question? So this is after Allah, Prophet, he prayed to Allah and making Ibn Abbas is smart to explain the Quran, he come with this. And for sure Ibn Abbas, he did not bring it from his own. Obviously, he is getting it from Muhammad. Any other question? And again, you know, remember that uh, uh, the, 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 there's a new scientific discovery. They found that this, the earth is in the top of the wheel and the wheel in the top of the bowl. And those are true, you know. Uh, my friends, you do not need to tell me in the chat, this guy want to debate you, this guy want to debate you. The one who debate me, he call me. Very simple. We don't have time for kids. Right? So don't tell me this guy want to call and debate me. Yeah, you want to debate me, debate me. Who's calling him? Well, who cares? Uh, Tawseef Ahmed. Okay, Tawseef Ahmed. Mr. Tawseef. Guys, Mr. Tawseef, he is saying, I blocked him. Tawseef Ahmed, what is your name in Skype? I will call you immediately. Is that fair, guys? Tawseef Ahmed is very good. He's a sheikh. And we are scared of him. And he is saying I block him. I don't know how this happened. He, and he is posting in the chat. How I blocked you and you are talking there. So Tawfiq Ahmed. Tawseef, Tawseef, I mean, your name is Tawseef? What happened? Is that an accident or like your mother, she dropped you when you were a kid? Do you know what Tawseef means? I mean, those Pakistani people, they have names, which is weird, weird in Arabic. So, Mr. Tawseef, in front of everybody, are you willing to call me, my friend? Are you there? My question, you are giving me a question now. Uh, my question is simple. Challenge Fifi and Sheikh Uthman online debate with moderator. <clears throat> you know, my friend, I will make you a moderator. But the moderator will not give five minutes, five minutes. We talk at the same time. And you are the moderator, I accept. Hmm? Call them right now. So you are the one who says he blocked, he blocked you because you are stupid. You keep coming saying the same stupid thing. Blocked him. Here we go. I blocked you again. Until you bring them. I will keep blocking you until you make those cowards call me. Or let me call them. And I accept you to be a moderator. You wear hijab and you sit between us. 
and let us see who is going to do breastfeeding from you. By the way, the uncle of Muhammad, according to Muslims, he did breastfeeding from Muhammad, which is a find very funny. I mean, the guy is a guy, he's a man, and the man is breastfeeding Muhammad. Like, what the heck? He had milk. Do you think he used to get his milk from Walmart? I mean, how in the world the guy is breastfeeding a boy? It's a miracle. So those kids, they come here and, you know, they want to play. Uh, don't touch my socks. They smell so bad. I'm telling you. This is what happened to all of them. They knew that if they come here to debate me, they will get not even to be able to touch my socks. They are too small. Too small. And this is why all of them, they have no problem to debate anyone when it's come to Christian Prince. No. All the excuses in the world, they appear. Turkey. Turkey in my barbecue. And uh, as long as you are going to be the moderator, are you going to let me read that the prophet? Are you, are you going to let me read the, when I said suckal me? Or play the video when the uh, Mimi Hijab, he says, Christian prince, a sexual predator, he said to a Muslim woman, suckle me. <laughs> and later we found that Mimi Hijab is going around saying to Muslim women, can I suck your wife's tits? What a bunch of cowards. Very much intimidated. How come they made a trap to apostate prophet? Do you remember? They told him, uh, you know, come and talk to us. And then they brought Mimi Hijab. Why Mimi Hijab don't do that to me? Trap me. All of you gather together. Call me in the same time. Make a trap for me. Surprise me. That would be a lovely surprise. Hello. And the one who hang up first is the coward. And don't start like Mimi. This guy Mimi, he start talking about women, wives, the wives of this guy, and the, very, very trashy, very low class people. You see, a person who respect himself, he will not talk about wives and families of others. This is only savage, trashy people do that. A Christian soldier, my friend, usually I give only, uh, you know, uh, the chance for Muslims to talk. But however, what about you make a video with your voice, post it, and I will play it later. Or you can leave me a voice message in Skype, and I can play it later. Just tell me that this is you. In the daily life, five prayer, do the Muslim curse the Christians? And the Jews, yes, you know, if you go and read the chapter of Al-Fatiha, verse number seven, it says it clearly, Allah, the Muslim, they say that Allah told them supposedly, don't make us the same as the, the, the lost one and the cursed one. Who is the lost one and who is the cursed one? The lost one is the Christians. The cursed one is the Jews. So yes, five times a day, the Muslim, they have to insult the Christians by saying, don't make us like them like the lost Christians and like the lost Jews. And as you know, we don't say things without proofs. Here we go. This is a chapter one, verse number seven. This is the daily prayer of the Muslims. So they say to Allah, please, please Allah, don't forsake our heart. Don't make us the same as those who they are lost or those who they are cursed. This is Ibn Abbas and this is Ajalalain. Now we can show you all Islamic interpretation. Hmm? Implied that the sub, uh, substation is that guided uh, are the one, neither are the Jews or the Christians. So when you see a foolish person in like a European government, they bring a Muslim to recite the Quran, supposed to be friendly to Muslims. They don't know that this guy is just insulting them when he recites the Quran. Donkeys. They bring a guy speaking in a language they don't understand. In that language, he's saying, Don't make us like those. And they are around him. 
And when they finish, they said to him, can you believe it? This is how stupid European people are. And when I say European, I'm talking about those in charge. They bring a guy, he is saying when he is reciting the Quran, Allah don't make us the same as the Christians, the same as the Jews. And when he finish, hey, thank you, very nice, very nice. I like it, very nice, very much. Stupid. Welcome to Europe. You know? What you can say with the donkeys. This is what the Chinese, they say, he left as a donkey, never came back as a horse. You know? you know, actually, if all of you, you know what how stupid this religion is, why not? Why I will be here? Today is Sunday. Honest to my, honest to God, my back is hurting me. I feel tired. My eyes is hurting me from looking at the screen for many hours all day long. Why I'm here? Because we are swimming in the world of idiots. If you go and see how many in the West who they claim to be Christian, they sponsor Islam. They have no problem to invite a Muslim to teach them about Islam in their churches. But they will not invite me. I mean, I did many, many, many seminars. Just last two months, I made... I think one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven, something like that. But this is nothing. If I was a Muslim, I would be invited in all churches. Like James White, he invite Muslim to the stage, and the Muslim he present Islam to the Christians so he can fool them. Oh, what we can say? Somebody saying, can you show the hadith about Ibn Abbas? No problem, my friend. Let me find it. Uh, I will try uh, to find it in English. Let us see. You see, finding the reference in Arabic is very easy, but uh, finding the reference in English is a different story. Um, let us see. Let us try. Mm. This one, we could not find it in the English website. Let us try something else. <clears throat> uh, 
yeah I can't find it here but you know we can show it in Arabic and we can uh, use Google translation there's tons of hadith actually not, not even one but uh, Let us try to find another one, because there's many. Maybe we can get one exists in English. Until now, we have a failure. No, nothing in English. Uh, here, this is this is a, this is one of them. Okay, here we go. What is the one who asked me? This is uh, this is uh, Al Bukhari. So he asked Allah to teach him the knowledge of the Quran, as you see. But there is more, more reference, more strong than this. But this is enough. So this is the one who said the Earth is in the top of a whale. Did we answer you? I hope so. Anything else? See now, actually, things is a lot better than before. Many years ago, when I go uh, online, there is nothing in English. I have, if you, there's there's a video of mine. They spoke about it in the Iranian TV. If you remember, you know, once one day somebody sent me a video saying, "Look, they are talking about you in the Iranian government TV." And actually, it was not only the Iranian government TV, it was Iranian and there's Islamic TV from Emirat and from, uh, 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 I think, a uh, mix of Al Jazeera, etc. So anyway, they, were, they, 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 search, they search online to see who is the most people who they are opposing Islam in the internet, and they choose my video. But if you watch that video, you will see how bad the quality of the image because I was using a hand camera so imagine I used to hold the camera a camcorder in my hand I don't even have a stand for it I hold it in my hand and then I show you in the screen in Arabic and then I translate from Arabic to English so it was very hard especially with me you know I'm my English especially in all in the old days it was more horrible than now so now we have like at least we can find some in English we have a website full of Islamic books they lie in the translation yes but we can get them busted no problem but before there was zero books in English and the Muslim they used to say how you can trust him that he is translating correctly how you trust him is not lying he's showing you a page in Arabic you know And the Iranian government, they chose my video out of all the videos. You know, all those names you see right now, they wouldn't even exist. Way before even they become Christians. Uh, but anyway, I mean, thank God. You know, we were able to accomplish a lot. I mean, I, you know, uh, now many, many countries around the world, it doesn't matter how much Muslim they try to refute me. But you see, when the Muslim they refute me, they bring me customers. Most of the Muslims who left Islam is because the Muslims are trying to refute me, not the opposite. Because they are the one who make Muslims know about me. Muslim watch Muslim channels. They don't watch Christian channels. So when the Muslim they watch somebody supposedly refuting Christian Prince, Christian Prince became known to them. And then they will see my videos showing the reference in the screen. And you know, everything I did actually, it was an invitation from the Muslims. I am in YouTube today because of the Muslims. Muslim, they posted pictures, they say this is a Christian prince. So I said, okay, let me go to YouTube then. They post them in YouTube. <laughs> so I said, okay, that's a good place to go on. Let me go to YouTube then. So I start going to YouTube. 
I used to go in a program, it's called the Hear Me. Hear Me. But this Hear Me is like a web browser chat rooms. So I, I, you know, I made a chat room. It's for free. People, they come and they debate you. It's very, it's very simple. It's not like, you know, not like YouTube now. Uh, and then the Muslim in the Hear Me, they said to me, why you don't go to Palto? If you are a man, come to Palto. I never heard of Palto before. So I went to Palto. <laughs> I went to Paltok, they didn't know how to get rid of me. And then they signed a petition to Paltok by tens of thousands to ban me from Paltok. I received an email from, uh, first, the uh, Paltok, they have a meeting with me. I have a four co cool admins and the big hat admin, like this is like the high uh, authority in the company. She spoke to me, she said to me, you don't debate the Muslims, you inflame them, you know? And then I received an email that says you are banned. Period. I cannot go to the program. So the Muslim, they were successful to ban me in Paltok. Then after a few days, Paltok, they sent me an email saying, due to the request of a huge number of blah, 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 blah of people, we found that it was a bad decision from our side to ban you because Christian, they start threatening them, they will sue the company. They received thousands of requests. So they send me they send me an email apologizing and says you can log on in your pal talk anytime you wish. I went back to pal talk. What a bad time for them. Thank you, Latina. You can contact me in uh, in Skype if you like, or in Patreon. Maybe Patreon better. Yeah, they are the one who bring me all over. And then the Muslim, they were debating me. They says, how come you are so good and you know a lot, but you don't have a book? So I said to myself, he's right. This Abdul is so right. I mean, I know a lot and all this knowledge, I don't have a book. Like, what the heck? So even my book, it was an idea of Abdul. Because Abdul, he don't want to believe that I'm a person of a very extreme knowledge, yet I don't have a book. So I wrote my first book, and my second book, and my third book, and my fourth book. And actually today I was thinking about a book, and I was saying what I will call this book. I mean, it's an idea come to my head. Maybe I should not mention it. I have like a new name idea. You know, like, because I saw a video of a Muslim saying, do, do, do God have a physical son? So I said to myself, should I call the book, Why Allah Don't Have a Physical Son? That's a good book. I will make Allah shish kebab. You see, all the ideas I have in my head is by the encouragement of the Muhammadan. And actually, when they attack me, they make me work harder. When they threat me, when they threat me, I work harder. They think I'm going to disappear if they threat me. I do the opposite. This is my nature. This is how I am. You are nice to me. I will give you the key of my house. You are welcome. You are my guest. You want to be a criminal? I will make you shish kebab. As simple as that. So everything I, you know, like all the ideas I came with, you know, it was an Islamic ideas. It was the Muslims who inspired me to do them. Will you finish translation of the Quran and the Hadith? Yes, I'm working on it. I just, I don't know, you guys, I told you, I, I just bought a new computer because this one is acting up and I'm expecting it to die anytime. So I bought a new computer. Uh, which will make me change some software to work as, as you know as soon as uh, start using it, and uh, I will uh, uh, you know I will move all my document to the new computer and start working in that computer, doing the translation. Yeah, I will finish the the, the Quran translation. I will. Actually, I just received two days ago. I need to publish it my book Sex and Allah in Albanian language and for sure I will post it for free so if you are an Albanian who speak Albanian you will have it for free and we have my book Deception of Allah translated into the Persian language first time and we are we gave the book to somebody who speak Persian to read it 
to confirm that translation is, is okay. So God is good, you know, I mean, and not only that, actually, I have even better news. Soon my book, Sex and Allah, will be ready in Chinese. And we will have it for free. You see, China have a, like more than, a, I mean, inside of China, there's more than a billion and a half. Out China, maybe there is, I don't know how many hundred millions. If I want to make money just from the Chinese book, you can imagine how much money I can make. But for me, I prefer to give my book for free. And I believe the Lord always is my provider. So as you see, you know, I do my best. I'm not a rich man. But as long as the Lord, he provide me with my needs, I'm rich. You know what I mean? Share the knowledge with everybody. Save millions. You will not take with you more than what you can take with you. So as long as I have enough, thank God I'm rich. You are poor only when you don't have enough to keep you being respected. You will not go begging for money and hungry and homeless. As long as you have enough, you are rich. Always pray to the Lord to give you what is enough. This is what our prayer, our art of heaven says. Give us our daily bread, which means is, is, is our enough needs, not our gold, not the silvers. Our daily bread. For that will prevent you from being a slave of others. People taking advantage of you. Uh, yeah, exactly. Chinese is the largest spoken language, and I'm waiting for the person, which really I appreciate this person for sure. I do not know people who speak to me, and I do not know, I never met them, those people who they do great work translating for free. Even they might spend money from their pocket to make this book happen. At the end of the day, it's my book. And, but at the end of the day, if not their work, my book will not be in that language too. So those people are really highly appreciated and I believe the Lord will bless them hardly, you know? Or let us say, I don't know, the word hardly is not correct, you know, my English. Let us say he will bless them so good for the work they did. Because if not them, how people they will know what is written in that book? Actually, you know, so the one who translated my book uh, into French, uh, people who did read the book, they said to me, the book in French is way better than your English book as a language. They say, way, very high class. I mean, the guy, obviously, the one who did the translation is like a super powerful person in the language, the French language. So they said to me that the French translation is amazing. Explain different kind of jihad. My friend, the word jihad means struggle, but who care about different kind? What, what care for us, what we care for, that Muhammad, he says, my wealth is by the, the top, the tips of my arrow. So the Muslim, they try to say to you, whatever they say. But can they deny that all those countries, they are in control now, they took them by the sword? There's only few countries Actually, even a country like Indonesia. The king of Indonesia converted to Islam because he wanted to have protection from the neighbors. Not because he's uh, convinced. Let us see if we can find you there some reference.
Where Muhammad he used to make living? How Muhammad he make living? They will say to us, jihad means to pray, to fast. Is that true? Absolutely false. I'm just trying to find you some reference until now I fail to show you in English. We have tones in Arabic. Eh, this one cannot be found. But we still we can use the Arabic one. It doesn't hurt. So this is the book. It's called Fathul Bari Fi Sharhi Sahih al-Bukhari. Hadith number 2759. What it says? Let's see, is this the hadith we are looking for? Uh, read carefully. What it says? The hadith of Ibn Umar that the Prophet said that it, my living is made or make to me my living under the shadow of my spear. How Muhammad make living? By the sword. And he humiliate anyone who go against him. So you know the the kind of jihad, all this garbage is is is, is funny. They just try to make you to forget about the crimes of Muhammad. Muhammad is a caravan rider, and even the Muslims agree. Even they list his rides all over. This is how Muhammad he make living by killing, and the funny he don't go even like you see here it says by the spear of uh, by the by the tip of my spear. But Muhammad he don't go for war. Muhammad he's a coward. He hide. He don't go for war. Any other question? Yeah, I know. I mean, Indonesia, they did not, they did not convert because of the sword directly, but because this prince or this king, he wanted to get the support of the Muslims around. So by announcing himself as a Muslim, so now the gang, they will join him and protect him. So other kings or princes, they will not attack. Uh, takbir. Don't come to my page, please. I find you, I don't know, I find you like you're a, a, a silly person and you are not a Muslim. How do you explain to me the prophecy? We, you know, we just showed you the prophecy, how Allah, he found that the, the, the earth in the top of the of the whale. I mean, you, you come here every day and you say silly, stupid things and I believe you are not a Muslim. Seriously. I believe you are just trying to make me say, 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 say things. Very silly person. Yeah, the prophecy Muhammad he says that the woman she have a sperm coming from her ribs. How do you explain that prophecy come true? Is it true? Yes, it is true. This guy who I just blocked him, his mother, she have a sperm and coming from her chest. How Muhammad he knew this is in the Quran that the earth is a flat? This is prophecy, you know. How Muhammad he knew that Allah he put the mountain in the top of the earth? Prophecy. Have you ever heard of a stupid God? He claimed that Allah he placed the mountain in the top of it. All of us we knew that the mountains is coming from inside the earth, not the opposite. You don't place mountains on top of the earth. Allah he raised up the sky, like where is the sky was? How you can raise it up? Is it raised up? We are inside the sky. The earth is not even a, 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 like a little dust inside the space. So this is false. This is stupid. So everything in front of you is stupid. And have you ever heard of a God? You don't remember which one he created first, the mountains or the stars? Chapter 79 is totally the opposite from chapter 41. Go watch. Go watch my videos explaining. You don't even need my videos. Open the two chapters, put them next to each other. And look at the order of the mountains created in both chapters. 
Seeing for the stars, he would die laughing. So when a Muslim he says, uh, you know, prophecy, we, uh, this is the prophecy, here we go, this is a prophecy. Muhammad is telling us how Allah created the earth. A Muslim today, he posts in the comment section, He said, can you make Quran like this? So in another way, he's saying to me, can you be stupid like our God? Who can make Quran like this? Huh? You want to read? If I show you, you will die laughing. And then you will say this is Daif. But this is Quran. Uh, my, this is keyboard. I know what's wrong with it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. I like, come on. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Who can make Quran like this? Look at this. Genius. Look. Muhammad, he found a solution for a problem. What is the problem? You can eat in the in the in the in your house. Like what? Allah he went to his office. And he decided to make Quran, nobody can make like it. It's no fault in the blind, nor in the one is born lame, nor the one afflicted with illness, nor in yourself, which means everybody. Okay, to do what? If you eat in your houses. I mean, this is, this, nobody can make like this. Can you make Quran like this? Honestly, can you, can you come with an idea like this that you can eat in your home? That's amazing. If you are blind, if you are sick, if you are not able to walk, or if you have nothing wrong with you, there's no problem, no sin, if you eat in your house. So where people they eat at that time? They go to McDonald's? I mean, how stupid to say, after a thousand of years, people eating inside their houses, it is not a sin to eat in your house. So where people they eat then? I mean, do we need even a verse about it? And then Allah continues saying, or those who they are your father, thank you, I can eat in the house of my father. It's, not, it's, not, it's halal. Or your mothers, like what? Or your brothers, like wow. Or your sisters, thank you for telling me, I do not know that. Now we know that I can eat in the house of my father. Like what? Or your father, brother, like what? Are you going to count the whole tribe for me? Now can you make Quran like this? Nobody can make Quran like this. I mean, this, this guy must be taking hashish. Or your father, brother, or your father, sister, or your mother, brothers, or your mother, sisters, or in the house to which the keys are in your possession. Like, never give your house to a Muslim real estate agent. He will eat your food. You give him the keys. He thinks he owns the house. The Quran says to him, you can do that. So if I have the key of the house, I can eat the food in the refrigerator? And this is God? This is God teaching? That's so good. Who can make Quran like this? All those who they are sincere friends of yours. You see, finally, we can eat in the house of friends. If Allah did not tell us this, how we would know? I mean, think about it, be honest. And not only that, no blame on you. Can you? Hey, Shaheen, I blocked you. Uh, you must be then a, a potato. We don't block people who call us. We block people who, you know, post things, stupid things, text, threat, dirty language. So who can make Quran like this? Allah, he made saying, don't, don't make uh, the way you call Muhammad like you call each other. Like why? He is higher because he is God. Only those are believers who believe in Allah and his messenger when they are with him, 
on a matter of requiring collective action <laughs> they do not depart until they have asked for his leave <laughs> oh boy Uh, I don't know what you uh, Google PH I don't know what you are saying you don't mention it in the debate where Abdul read it said SHT been waiting I know what are you talking about a uh, sacrifice of Isaac uh, if you have the video, you can pause it, no problem. Yeah. You know, the problem with Islam is not about sacrificing of Isaac or Ishmael. This is not really too much important. Uh, but this is have nothing to do with Isaac or Ishmael. Muhammad, he used those names to fool the Christians, to make them believe that he is worshipping the same God. This is why you see someone like James White, was supposedly an educated person he say they ask him do the Muslim believe in the moon God he says no why because the Quran says don't worship the moon but who said that the moon God is the moon this is how silly he is secondly in order to understand the religion you have to go to the roots of it did you ask yourself why the Muslims in the time of Muhammad they were supposedly opposing the Arab who say Allah have three daughters. So did you ask yourself where the story came from? How the Arab they come to the conclusion that Allah have three daughters? Who is the wife? Who is the wife? So simply there is a moon god and sun god and they have sex. And those two gods, they have daughters. Those are the three daughters of Allah. Otherwise those daughters are not coming from the middle of nowhere. And even the satanic verses which we speak of that shaitan he threw in the mouth of Muhammad is about the three daughters of Allah where Muhammad he bowed down to them and he worshipped them and he said their intercession is a must. So you know uh, is some people they, they think that uh, Islam is just another Christian sect. And this is what the Jews and the beginning actually, you see when, when Muhammad, this is what I believe, when Muhammad here came to Yathrib, which is the city of Medina, after he killed the Jews, he took the city. The Jews, they give him asylum because those Jews, they thought Muhammad is just another Christian sect and he is going to fight the Christians. So they support him, they give him protection later he killed them this is how evil can come back to you because what they heard that this guy he believed that uh, Isa is a messenger of God he's not God and he believed in Mary that she gave birth to a child without a husband so they have an idea that this guy is just another Christian sect he's just fighting he's going to fight the Roman is going to fight those who believe in Christianity because remember the Jews who were there in the city of Medina most of them they were kicked out from their land why because simply there's many many reasons happen for that when uh, there is a there is a a, a group of uh, of Jews who decide to help the enemy of the Roman and the reason they do that simply the Jews they believe this is their land and if somebody can attack the Roman free to us and make us rule it under the command of the Persian why not so the Jews they decide to have the Persian against the Roman this is why when the Roman they were able to be victorious and this is even mentioned in the Quran there's a chapter called about chapter of the, or the Roman chapter so the Roman they were defeated and uh, the Persian they took over Jerusalem Muhammad at that time because he claimed to be a believer in the God of the Christians 
he said that the believer they will rejoice when the Roman get victory but did you ask yourself why the believers will rejoice if the Christians win the war do you see it this is chapter 30 the Roman Empire that doesn't say the word empire and try this in Arabic this is false so it says the Roman were defeated the Roman they were defeated in the closed land and they will win after they've been defeated and okay what will happen when they win with the help of Allah so how they are kuffar they are Christians and Allah will help them and then when ha when that happened then the believers will rejoice okay why the Muslim will rejoice if the Roman win do you see it and this is stage Muhammad he already he hate the Jews and those who they are making fun of the Roman being defeated is those who don't believe in Muhammad and they don't believe in Christianity so who are they the Christian lost the war the Persian took over and the Persian at that time they took over and after that there was a kind of uh, like the Roman they, they, they did revenge from the Jews because they helped them to enter into the Holy Land so most of them they quit and they left this is why you see until now a lot of Jews in Iran they went to Morocco why because they betrayed the Roman and they helped the Persian to take over so when the Roman they became victorious they kicked a lot or maybe most of them out of the land so here Muhammad you see how hypocrite he is he's claiming that when the Roman going to be victorious the Muslim will rejoice why if the Roman are kuffar and then a few years after he sent the letter says convert or I will kill you this so doesn't make sense because at that moment Muhammad was trying to play as a Christian so he will rejoice if the Roman win which does not make sense right why he want to rejoice for the Roman winning the war what is isn't he who want to fight them he want to kill them isn't it Muhammad who says attack the Roman and get the blonde girls uh, anyway Yeah, well, this is a different story about Ibrahim or Abraham. By the way, even the Muslims, they fix uh, uh, the, their Quran. Like now, we cannot find the word uh, Abraham in the Quran. You will find that wherever you go, you will find the word Ibrahim. You see, the Muslims, they say to you that we Muslims, we do not change the Quran. The foolish Muhammad, He was learning names, but he did not know how to pronounce them correctly. So always he say Ibrahim. Then he made the Jews. Suddenly Ibrahim became Abraham. <laughs> Crazy man, huh? Maybe you should make a. I think I made a video already about it. Uh, and even the Muslims, they have uh, they have videos about this uh, issues. See, if you go, look, just to show you an example. Once the Muslim, they accuse me that I'm lying. There is no such a... I think Indonesian Muslims, they accuse me of lying. They say there's no such a thing. This is the center. It's called Shu'a or Islam, which means the light of Islam. And this is the Sheikh he is talking. And he's a Muslim Sunni terrorist. 
preaching terrorism. The question is, why it's mentioned that the name of Ibrahim, peace be upon him, in the chapter of Al-Baqarah as Ibrahim, instead of Ibrahim. But if we go right now to Al-Baqarah, we will not find the word Ibrahim no more. What happened? Where we can find it? They changed it. They took it off. So how Abraham became Abraham and how Abraham became Abraham? That is the bent Muhammad he was associating with who? He learned that he is saying the, wrong, the name wrongly. And here they are trying to make it, uh, they try to fix it. If this is a mistake or what? But if we go now and we try to find the word in the Muslim Quran they print today, we don't find this. If anybody have the Quran today in Arabic, he can find it for me, let me know. Abraham, where is, where is Ibrahim? Translate to English. Why the name of our father Abraham mentioned in Surat al-Baqarah, Abraham instead of Ibrahim. what is the solution they, you know they try adding like uh, their own fiction stories simply Muhammad he was now he learned from the Jews something new suddenly the name changed is a fraud the same as uh, Yeshua became Isa how in the world Yeshua became Isa And there is one of uh, somebody he claimed to be Christian. He posted, I think he's a Christian. He posted saying that you know when you say Yahweh, you are pronouncing the, the name wrong, uh, and that is uh, in, in worshiping Satan or something like that. I say to this person, I don't want to insult him, but only foolish people they think that this is about pronunciation. This is not. It's not a name. This is, this is a sentence where a God, he says, I am, who exists by myself. I am who I am. So, because it's a foreign language for you, it's a name. Moses, he said to God, what the name I will tell them. You tell them, he said to him, you say, I, you know, I am who I am. So, because it's a foreign language, you think it's a name. It's not a name. And if we are not pronouncing the word correctly as the person claim, then does that mean we are the same as the Muslims? Because... If you don't pronounce the word correctly, you are worshipping the devil. That is your logic. But who, how many people they speak Hebrew? And even Hebrew people, they don't, every one of them, he pronounce it different. Because this is, a, this is about God saying, I am exist, not God saying, this is my name really. This is why the Jews, they have many names for, but none of them is a name. Adonai, Ashadadi, etc. Those are not names. None of them is a name. So when Moses has been taught to call God by such a thing, he is telling him how I am exist. I am the Lord, I am the creator. I am the one who exists without the creator. I am the creator. This is not a name. So when a foolish man, he goes, he says around, he says, oh, you pronounce the word Yahweh wrong, or this is not how to say it in Hebrew. That will not make any difference. A person who do not know how to say the name of Jesus correctly, including this person who posted, it. Because when you say Jesus, this is not the correct name. And you cannot say the correct name. Why? Because there's a letter missing in your language. There's many letters are missing in your language. So most of the names in the Hebrew, none of you can pronounce it. 
So when a Muslim he say instead of saying Muhammad, he say Muhammad. Why? Because he cannot say the letter Ha. There's no letter equal in his language. Does that mean he's worshiping the devil just because it changed in a letter? No, he simply, there's a letter missing in his language, so he cannot pronounce it correctly. But doesn't mean he changed the name of his prophet. At least not intentionally. Same as in the Latin. When there was no uh, 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 J, there was no Jesus. J is a new letter added. So if you read all the translation, you will see that there is a, this letter does not exist in the alphabet. So, you know, when people, they speak with their ignorance and they claim, they don't be like those Taliban, silly Taliban, you know Taliban? Oh, you did not say the name correctly. Uh, you are not worshiping the true God. This is stupid, this is silly. Every language they speak about Jesus in their, in their own language. Even the word Jesus is not even a name. Even the word Christ is not a name. Even the word Adam is not a name. Even the word Noah is not a name. Even the word Abraham is not a name. The Bible is not the book of names. The Bible is the book of messages. So Abraham is a sentence, means something. Ishmael is a sentence, means something. Gabriel is a sentence, means something. It is not a name. It's a name for the ignorant. It's a message for the one who have knowledge. Are we listening? So don't be silly and don't go around and say stupid things. Any other question? Oh yeah, like somebody he says to me, like without mentioning who, that uh, you know, if you don't know the word in Greek, uh, you cannot teach the Bible. Really? This is this is what Muslim they say. See here the double standard how some Christians they behave. So now if we do not know Greek, well hold on. If you do not know Greek, you do not know what the Bible means. Why? Uh, because this book written in Greek, but there is Bible written in Hebrew. There is a Bible written in Aramaic. So that's mean based on your logic, the one who do not speak Aramaic he is cannot he cannot be a believer too. Same time, when you say the name of Jesus in Greek, this is not the correct name. Why? Because again, you have a missing letters in your language. So we don't want to be silly. We don't want to be like the Muslims who say stupid things and don't be like a person who take a side because I am, uh, uh, you know, uh, or, you know, speaking against Catholic and Protestant and Orthodox. I find all those kind of people, they are very silly. And obviously they are swimming with their hatred against other Christians. They can't go out of the box of hatred. Somebody put them inside box. Like somebody, he posted a comment saying, Islam is created by the Catholic. Where is this donkey get us from? I can show you the videos. There's tons of them, which is absolutely a big fat lie. I'm not a Catholic, as you know, but I will not hesitate to expose liars. Actually, if not the Catholic, all of Europe and the whole world will become a slave of Islam by today. It was the Catholic who saved Europe from the slavery of Islam. This is the truth. Who is the crusader then? So I saw a video of somebody from the seven Adventist something, and supposedly he is a professor. He's saying that the wife of Muhammad was a Catholic. Can you believe it? <laughs> and she was a Catholic nun, not only a Catholic. <laughs> she was a Catholic nun. You idiot, this woman, she had three husbands. She was a Catholic nun. The last husband is Muhammad, and she died married to him, and she is a Catholic nun. So he go in the stage, they put a, they, they put a donkey, who want to spread hatred against the Catholic, and he starts saying lies. So if you're a child watching this, he will believe it. See, the Bible says, be aware of false teachers. Be aware of false teachers. Those false teachers not only exist in Islam, they exist in our churches too. Those people, they would love to insult the Catholic, but they will not dare to say one word against Muhammad.
sometimes what, what you see in this internet from stupidity is very shocking. Yeah, but we don't want to say other Christians attacking Catholic, but Catholic, they attack other Christians too. But you see, this, the, the, issue, the issue is that you, you as an individual, don't be stupid, regardless what is yours, what is your what church you go to. So if you are a Catholic, think about it this way. Who is the Christian really? Is somebody he believe in a Jesus or somebody believe in a Pope or somebody believe in a priest? Christian is someone who believe in Jesus. His Savior is Jesus. His God is Jesus. The one who died for him in the cross is Jesus. So it's depend on you how silly you are, how shallow you are. If you are shallow, anyone can drive you in any direction. Now a Muslim, he will come here. He will say something against the Catholic. And if you are a Protestant, you will be offended, thinking that this is a guy, you know, he's not a Muslim. He would think he's a Christian or he's a supposedly Protestant, supposedly. So they will make you fight each other. This is what happened when they took Constantinia. The Christian, they are divided. Eastern Christians, Western Christians, two empire, and the Western empire, they were watching. Because why they want to fight to protect the Christians of the Eastern empire? Don't repeat the same mistake again. Divide and conquer. For me, I believe strongly, anyone who divide the Christians, he is working for Satan. I believe strongly, and I repeat again, anyone who work in dividing the Christians, he is worshiping Satan and he work for him. Even if he think he is a Christian. And the Quran confirmed that. The Quran says Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until Judgment Day. That is the devil. A true priest. You see, even if they say, like me myself, I don't agree with the Catholic with many things. And I don't mind to say to them, but doesn't mean they are not Christians to me. That's false. That's a lie. It's not you. It's not me who decide who is a Christian or not. Jesus said, whoever believe in me and die will live. They believe in him. You will agree with them with the picture. That will not change the fact that they believe in their Lord Jesus. They believe in the Father, the Holy Spirit. Same for the Orthodox. Same for the Protestant. So this is all is a political division. And ignorance is the fuel of it. If you are a true Christian, you should not attack any other church. If you don't agree with them, you can correct them, but they are Christians. My friend, all of us, we are sinners. Is there somebody here is not a sinner? So let us say, uh, somebody, he have a picture, and he kissed the picture. And you say, this is sin. The Bible says in the Old Testament, don't make images for what is up in heaven and down on earth. So let us say he, he, he just broke command of God. But how, how in the world we say he is not a Christian because he did that? Isn't it all of us, we break the command of God every day? If there is somebody who here is holy, if there is somebody here he don't commit sin, so don't be the same as the those the Pharisees who they they swallow the the camel, but they don't see it. But if there is little thing they clean they clean outside the cup, but inside the cup is dirty, filthy. Don't be like them. All of us, we do sin, and because we are do we do sin, we need Jesus. So if you are a Catholic, you are a Protestant, you are Orthodox, all of us, we share one thing. We are sinners and we need the salvation of Christ. And if a person, he do something wrong, well, as long as he believe in the faith that his Savior is Jesus, it is not you who decide if he is a Christian or not. If you don't believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, I would say he is not a Christian. If you don't believe in the crucifixion of Jesus, I would say he is not a Christian. But you have a picture, okay, tell him it's wrong. Don't agree with it. You have a status, tell him this is not right. But doesn't mean he is not Christian. He's doing wrong. But all of us, we do wrong. Every single one of us, he do wrong. And the clear sign of somebody is a hypocrite and a liar when he say to you that he is not doing wrong. 
Even the disciple of Jesus, they confess their sin. Don't they? Uh, exactly, the Bible says that my people will be destroyed, they, they perish because of their ignorance. And this is why we are here. Look, it is 12.20 after midnight. My eyes are hurting, really. I'm tired from sitting in this chair. And why I'm here? Because we have, I feel guilty when I don't do what I need to do. We have a big war against ignorance. Ignorance is our enemy. So if you are a Christian, if you are a Christian, when I say the word Christian, doesn't mean Catholic, doesn't mean Protestant, doesn't mean Orthodox. Christian is someone who follow Christ. So it doesn't matter really what church you go to. Christian is somebody believing in his crucifixion, his resurrection. He believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. He believed that the Lord will come in the day of judgment and he will be judge, the judge of all over mankind. He believed that he is the door, he is the life, he is the Alpha, he is the Omega. Everything was created by him and for him. That is a Christian. Christian is not someone he say I'm Protestant or Catholic or Orthodox. Christian is someone who say I believe in Jesus. I worship him. I accept him as my Lord and as my Savior. Who believe that there is no Savior except him. Anything else is from the devil myself, my friend. The devil, always he try uh, to divide us. You see, this is why the Muslims actually, they hate the, 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 this part of me. That I don't play the game which they like me to play. So I will place myself as the devil of Islam to divide the Christians. Where I say, oh, this is wrong, and those are wrong, and those are bad, and those are good. All of us, all of us we do bad. Jesus said, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. If we are healthy, why he came? He did not come because we are healthy. So be aware and don't be a foolish person. And if you are a person who posts something against any church, unless it is not a church, I mean, if they are Jehovah's Witnesses, they are, Jehovah, they are not Christians. Mormon are Christians, etc. But if you want to play dirty, I will block you. Focus in your Lord, the Messiah. Don't focus on the man, any man. You know, there's no man you can trust for your salvation for a very simple reason. All men, all women are sinners. So if you trust a man, a human being like you, who is a sinner, you see, Jesus, he took the flesh of a human. He, God, he humbled himself, he came as a man. But that did not change the fact that he do not commit any sin. Therefore, I can trust the one who is perfect, not the one who is imperfect. If I was perfect, I would not need Jesus then. Because I'm then perfect. Because we need him, he is here. Not because of the opposite. God is not making a show. He did not say Jesus to show us his miracle. That hey, look, look, look how strong my muscles is. I can raise people from death. I can make the blind see. This is not the purpose of Jesus coming. The whole universe around us is a miracle. Uh, so always be aware and I know I have some even some friends and even some ex-Muslims who speak against some churches and I told them this is wrong but they still do it 
Why? Because they are, you know, their head is poisoned by what they learned. We need to make a differentiation between priest and people. A priest can be a good person or can be an evil person. Same for the people, but we don't judge the people by the priest. You don't judge a Christianity by me. You judge a Christianity by Christ. So Christianity is not even somebody he hold a cross in his hand. Christianity is what Jesus said, and whoever followed that said, he is following Christianity. He is not a Christian yet. He follow, and then when he follow and he live it, not only he just practice rituals, he live it, which mean he believe in what he say, and he say, and he do what he believe. If you reach that point, then you are a Christian. You see, our Father out of heaven is not a prayer. To say by your lips only, it is a life to live. All the words of Jesus, they are not words to repeat. We are not the same as the Muslim who recite words with no meaning. They don't even know what they are reciting. We are people who have been given the word, and the Messiah himself is the living word. And that word will live with us. So he said, every two of you mention my name, I will be between you, I will be the third one. So the word with us, to live it, not just to say it, this is why the Bible says, faith without work is a dead faith. And this is why you see some people, they have a very silly argument. They say, the Catholic, they believe that your deeds will save you. The Protestant, they say, this is wrong. Both of you are right. And both of you are wrong. You are reading the whole, the same sentence from the opposite direction, just to make it opposite. Because the Bible says, Faith without deeds is dead faith, which means at the end of the day, if you don't have deeds, that means you don't have faith. So both of you are saying the same thing, and both of you believe in the same thing, but because both of you, you became very much opposing each other, you don't want to listen to each other. You know what I mean? If they say, in order to be saved, your deed, your deed is needed. Then you say, the Bible says, uh, your faith saves you. But this is what they say too. Why you have deeds anyway? Because you have faith. And the Bible make it so clear. If you have deeds, and those deeds to serve the true God, then you have faith because Faith only is a generator of the good deeds. The faith is the reason of the good deeds. So yes, I am saved by His grace, saved by faith, not by the deeds. But if I don't have deeds, I will not be saved too. Because obviously I am false then. You know what I mean? So both of them, they believe in the same thing, but they oppose it. It's just like a philosophy, you know, like the two Greek philosophers are fighting each other for no reason. It's just to kill time. I'm right, you are wrong. Like the Muslims, you know? It's a goat even if it doesn't fly. Don't be, don't be silly, don't be like that. In Christianity, deeds is a must. Because the Lord, he said, the, tr the tree who don't give a fruit will be cut off and thrown in hell fire. So, if you claim to be a tree, a tree who became a tree of the Lord, but you never give a fruit. What the Bible says to you? He will cut off and throw you in the hell fire. So, some businessmen who they became a priest, they enjoy dividing us to make money and profit. The same as Muhammad. I say to you, and I confirm to you, don't go to a church they are teaching you to hate your brother in Christ. I accept a church saying that this church, they have something wrong. 
But if you say they will go to hell, you are not a Christian. Who are you to send people to hell and to heaven? Whoever believe in Jesus. You know, let us say there's somebody is a villager in the middle of nowhere. He doesn't know philosophy. He does not even know how to read. A villager, he have a bunch of goats, you know. Uh, he go off, wake up in the morning. He milk the goats. He go to the field. You know, he, he grow some uh, tomato, cucumber. He do not know philosophy. He believe in Jesus. He is not a Catholic. He is not a Protestant. He, is, he believe that Jesus is his savior. Do you think this guy will go to heaven? Yeah, he will. Maybe mostly he will go before of us, all of us. He's simple. He's honest. He's decent. He's not complicated. He don't care all about all your debates. He don't want to even listen to it. You believe in Jesus. He's saved. He do not need your philosophy. He's better than all those priests and those are philosophers who divide people. He's a simple human being. He wants nothing except to be a good person serving the Lord. Before he eat, he say, thank you, Lord, for the food you gave me. Before he sleep, he say, thank you, Lord, you make me have this day. Before he starts his day, he say, thank you, Lord, I woke up. That is a Christian. You don't have to be a bishop. You don't have to be a philosopher. You don't have to be a person who study liturgy and uh, uh, you know, spend life uh, reading books about Jesus. No, you know, Jesus, he go in the mountains, he speak to those farmers, those villagers, those who have goats and sheep, and he speak to them directly, and none of them, he have any degree in philosophy. And they understood him very well. Actually, you will find that even the disciple of Jesus, who they are all day with Jesus, they were having more question than those farmers. Farmers are very simple. They, are, they believe, you know. They worship Jesus. But you will see someone like Philip says, why well, don't show us the Father? So what, what this guy was saying to all this time? Why you don't show us the Father? So Jesus said to him, I am with you all this time. You do not know me? So don't be like Philip. Show us the Father. Then Jesus will say to you, I am with you all this time. Imagine I have Jesus in person with me all this time. Still I did not get it. But a woman, she is next to the well, and she is not even a Jew. She worshipped Jesus. Do you remember the story? The Aramaic woman, she worshipped Jesus. Even Jesus, he quote from the, the Jewish statement, don't throw your jewels, you know, your bread. The woman, she said, well, even dogs, they take the crumb. See how humble she is. She did not go to school to learn about Christianity. She did not go to study Hebrew, to study Greek, to study philosophy. She is just a woman and her life is misery. She humbled herself and she worshiped Jesus. Jesus said to her, your faith is great. Hmm. Uh, yeah, don't use bad language, otherwise I will, I will take your uh, comment. So anyway, uh, you, need, you need to understand that Christ, 
he did not come to speak to Aflatón and Aristo and the biggest philosophers. He came to every single one of us, an old woman in a little farm in the middle of nowhere. She might be a better believer than all of us. Christ is very simple. He speak a simple language, so you might understand. He did not come to speak to you philosophy, even though his language, it can be enjoyed by the most high philosophers and knowledge people. But still, it can be very much enjoyable by someone is very simple. He don't even know how to read. He hear the word, he enjoy it. So always, you know, do your best uh, not to follow those fools who they try to throw rocks at each other because at the end of the day, they are hurting themselves. The Lord, he came, he established one church. One church. There's no Catholic, there's no Protestant, there's no Orthodox. It's just one church. And the church is us, the people. It's not a bishop, it's not a pope, it's not a Catholic, it's not a Protestant. Those are names have nothing to do. Did Jesus say be Catholic? Did Jesus say be Protestant? Did Jesus say be... Those names are not even exist in the Bible. So my friend, focus on the Lord, not on the priest. Never follow the priest. The priest is good as long as he followed Jesus. And Jesus did not say to us, I will divide you. He warned us from the wolves who they will come to steal the sheep. And he said, don't worry from those who destroy your body, but be worried from those who destroy your soul. So when we hate each other, we are destroying our soul. If Jesus says, love your enemy, how in the world you cannot love someone he love and he worship Christ, regardless of what church he go to? I don't know if any of you, he uh, used to go hunt and he have some, uh, uh, some knowledge about beasts. You know, one of the funny things about those uh, uh, beasts, they have no friends. Even they go in packs together. You know, they gather together, but they don't have loyalty. This is why they are beasts. When they see a food, they attack all of them, the target. But after they kill the target, they start biting each other and they want to kill each other. Don't be one of them. Don't be a beast. Christ, he came to restore our human behavior. For today, we are like beasts. Everybody is just worried about his own. Everybody think that he is the winner and everybody is a loser. But always usually those who think this way, they are not really seeing the truth. You are a winner when you win everybody to Christ, not only when you win yourself. That is not a Christian thinking. I am a winner not only when I save myself because I did nothing good. Saving myself is not the good. Saving myself is something normal. This is why the Bible speak about those who the God gave them like a treasure to invest. One he hide it, one he make it twice double, one he make it more three times. The one who kept it as it is is the present the one who just want to save himself. He come back to the Lord, he says, look, this is what you gave me, I give it back to you. That is a bad person, selfish. 
So Christianity is not about you being right. Christianity is about making people around you right. That is your target. And you don't do that by saying to them you will go to hell. Especially if they are people who believe in Jesus as their savior. How they will go in hell to hell if they are worshippers of Jesus? Who are you? If Jesus, he promised them salvation. A person who was on the cross, he never met Jesus before. He believed in Jesus on the cross. He did not do baptism. He did not take Bible class. He did not attend the seminars of Jesus. Jesus said to him, today you will be with me. He was not a philosopher. He was not a, a guy, even he was a criminal. He's in the cross because he's a criminal. Jesus, he promised him salvation. So who are you to tell people who is going to be saved, who is not? Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't be a wolf between the Christians. Yes, you are, yet you are a Christian. You will be punished for that. Any other question before we go? No one has royalty. There is only one person in the whole Bible who is out of sin. That is Jesus. And he challenged the Jews. He says, who of you can prove me as a sinner? So any human being, he come to you, he claims that he is the perfect person, he is the good person. He is not telling the truth. You see, when Jesus, he washed the feet of his disciples, disciples, they said to him, we will not let you do that. Jesus, he knew what he's doing. He want to show them that if you want to be my disciple, I'm not making you a disciple to give you a rank to be a general. I'm not making you a disciple so you can go and control countries and control nations. I'm making you a disciple to wash the feet of those who want to believe in me. That is the disciple of Christ. So how many of those priests are doing what they claim to be doing? Do you understand why Jesus, he washed the feet? To show us that I am your Lord, and yet I will wash your feet. So one day, nobody can claim to be higher, to be a master, for the master is the servant, not the opposite. A true master is the one who serves his people, not the one who wants his people to serve him. That is the life of Jesus. So if you are following a priest and this priest, you don't follow what Jesus did, then he is no priest. He's just a businessman like Muhammad and like the Muhammadan. So we are very grateful for the Lord and he is the only one who can protect us from the wolves of this earth because the wolves will come to us in the clothes of a sheep but they are evil so I want to say thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you all now this video became so long sadly uh, you know, I don't know how, how easy now for you to download it but the part about this guy lying you can cut it off and repost it and you know just download and repost again and the reason I did not play his video, because now he can't uh, claim copyright. He's a coward, you know, like what he did last time. But if you are doing anything for the video, you can take his video, which is listed in uh, the ex-Muslim brother. Uh, you can take his video from there, and you can put it there and get him busted. All right? So I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And enter we'll see you soon again. I apologize. I wish I can stay longer, but really I'm getting really tired. I hardly I can open my eyes. I, I you know I woke up so early in the morning and now it's around almost 1 a.m. in the morning. So thank you, God bless you, and enter we'll see you again with a new bust for a new Abdul, new liars. Enter then I say 
happy uh, week to come in your way I pray for all of you to uh, be healthy I pray that the Lord will provide you with your bread and what is enough so you can be protected respected warm when it is cold and cool when it is hot healthy when everybody is sick because you seek refuge with the Lord to be with you and to protect you and for me as a person I don't uh, I don't really want from the Lord anything except uh, before my life is finished I see more and more fruits of the work we do see millions of Chinese reading my books seeing the truth millions of Persian reading my books I want to see the fruits bigger and bigger for this is my treasure and the Bible says that a person his heart is where the treasure is so the question is always for us where is your treasure do you have any many of us we don't even know if we have a treasure or not thank you very much and until we see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is false take care bye bye